Rental Boyfriend Author, Mori Underscore Copywriting Who Said That Money Can't Buy Love? That's because you didn't find the purchase link. Contract Lover Slash Bed First and Love Later Slash Fake Drama Is Really Done Slash Chuang Tianzu. Yang Xiao is beautiful, Yang Xiao is hot, and Yang Xiao makes a lot of money. But Yang Xiao's vision is not very good. The first two boyfriends were all living animals. Her first boyfriend, a prominent and domineering president of the family. The only requirement is to get her pregnant and then get married before she has a son to receive the certificate. Yang Xiao, get out. Her second boyfriend, a talented university professor. However, this young literary man has dozens of confidants in WeChat. Yang Xiao, get out. In order to stop the gossip of relatives, Yang Xiao opened the boyfriend rental app, planning to rent a fake boyfriend home for the holidays to deal with the parents. The next day, a big boy wearing sportswear and holding a basketball appeared downstairs in Yang Xiao's house. He was tall, handsome, and young, with short hair standing on top of his head, his eyes narrowed into a beautiful arc when he laughed, and the sky was clearing. Thank you for your patronage. This is Meng Yufan, your boyfriend. Person setting, beautiful and spicy variety choreographer Big Sister vs Basketball Forward Little Wolf Dog One Sentence Introduction, Breaking Ex-Boyfriend, Embracing the Little Wolf Dog, Becoming Bai Fumi, as the Chief Director. Content Label, Love Contract, The Proud Son of Heaven Search Keywords, Protagonist, Yang Xiao, Meng Yu Fan Supporting Role, Tang Shuj Brief Comment on Works Yang Xiao is Beautiful. Yang Xiao is very hot, Yang Xiao makes a lot of money, but unfortunately Yang Xiao's eyesight is not very good. Two consecutive ex-boyfriends are all living animals. To give her parents peace of mind, she rented a young and handsome basketball forward, Meng Yufan, from the rental boyfriend app. Obviously they are contract lovers, but the two of them did a real show. The language of this article is humorous, lively, and funny. The heroine of the Imperial Sister is bold and pungent, the hero of the little wolf dog clings to the sunshine, and the CP of the sister and brother's love is full of highlights. This mid-autumn festival, Yang Xiao will take her boyfriend back to see his parents. Is it really settled this time? Tang Shuj was lying on the lazy couch in his pajamas, holding a large box of ice cream in his hand, with his legs cocked, and asked curiously, are you going to open your arms to welcome a new life? Yang Xia replied while putting on makeup, let's talk about it if it is uncertain. The main reason is that my parents are always worried for me. I want to take my current boyfriend to them and let them feel at ease. Tang Shuj listened and nodded, that's right. Teacher Yu is handsome and has a temperament. He is still a university professor. If you take him home to see his parents, uncles, and aunts must rest assured. Yang Xiao helplessly, how many times have I said, don't call him Teacher Yu, I am not Di Gang. How good is the relationship between Teacher Yu and Di Gang? It hasn't been split for decades, and ordinary couples are not so affectionate than Jin Jian. Tang Shuj waved an ice cream spoon, there is a tacit understanding and a common language. No matter how you look at it. Your teacher is better than the last domineering president, right? Yang Xiao's expression froze for a moment, I understand why your mother said you never do housework at home. What? Because you are really good at picking which pot and not opening it. Yang Xiao, a boyfriend, is a real domineering president, let's call him your majesty for the time being. His majesty the king has a handsome appearance and an outstanding family background. He is also hard-working and has a net worth. The two met in the workplace. At that time, Yang Xiao was still a reporter on location. During an interview at an economic conference, he met this handsome Mr. King. The king fell in love with Yang Xiao at first sight, and immediately launched the domineering offensive in the Korean Idol drama, including but not limited to tonight's playground is only the two of us, private jet will take you to the Louvre to see the exhibition, revolving have dinner in the restaurant and invite the band to play, wrap all the clothes in the shop. Outsiders think Yang Xiao is very happy and can always be loved. 
But Yang Xiao felt extremely tired, because the king was very machismo, and everything must be decided by him. Yang Xiao sometimes suspects that the king does not need a girlfriend, only a beautiful and delicate and obedient doll. After two years of contact, the king expressed his compassion to consider giving birth. Yang Xiao felt that something was wrong and asked, Consider having children? Shouldn't you consider getting married first? Um. Said the king, It's better to be a husband, and I will talk about marriage after you have a child. Yang Xiao was shocked. Yang Xiao thought of various cases on the social news, and said in surprise, Are you going to let me get pregnant first when I am unmarried? Mister, then get a certificate for the child. Of course not. The king shook his head. Yang Xiao breathed a sigh of relief. I don't think the king has the second half of his sentence to finish. The king said, you can get the certificate only if you have a boy. Yang Xiao, what if you give birth to a girl? Then continue to give birth, and when will the boy be born and then receive the certificate? Yang laughed and understood. It seems that this domineering president has the throne in his family and urgently needs to inherit. Yang Xiao immediately said that they had a game over, and she absolutely couldn't accept the matter of getting in the train first and then making up the ticket. The king asked in surprise, is there anything wrong with getting in the car and then paying for the ticket? Work is to go to work and then pay, go to the restaurant to eat first and then pay, and to go to the supermarket to shop first and then pay. Yang Xiao said coldly, so when you are old, I will cremate you first and wait for you to die. Yang Xiao has always been a vigorous and resolute person. The next day after the two broke up, they packed up and moved out of the king's house, and moved in to share with their girlfriends. She didn't take away the things that didn't belong to her, whether it was jewelry, bags, beautiful clothes. She never needed expensive gifts from him. All she needed was a lover who was connected. After the breakup, Yang Xiao changed jobs, from the front of the stage to behind the scenes, the job was busier, the hair was less, and he made more money. She didn't want to start the second relationship so soon, but sometimes the relationship came so suddenly. At a gathering of friends, she met Yu Huibo, an associate professor at Huachan University of Foreign Studies. Professor Yu is ten years older than Yang Xiao, with a mature taste that has accumulated over time. He has a gentle temperament, wearing a white shirt and gold-rimmed glasses, and he is a walking hormone generator. The two have been together for a year and their relationship is stable. After serious consideration, Yang Xiao decides to take Weibo home to see his parents. The time is set for this mid-autumn festival, which coincides with the weekend. For this reason, Yang Xiao took the time to do beauty treatments and planted new false eyelashes. His whole face was radiant, and it was all the smell of happiness that was piled up with money. While Yang Xiao was putting on makeup in front of the mirror, Tang Shuj answered the phone. The boss called and asked her about her work. When she hung up, Yang Xiao asked with concern, Tang Tang, how about your new job? The new job is great. There is less overtime and the prospects are broad. The boss said that he is financing now. When the A round is completed, we can lie down and wait for the money. Tang Shuj said happily. Yang Xiao is not so optimistic, for fear that this best friend will be fooled into the internet black kill factory. Tang Shuj didn't know what was going on, and his work luck was very bad. For every job she finds, the company will close in less than six months. However, she herself is quite optimistic. It is rare for internet companies to survive for a long time. She just eats a meal, as long as the company does not default on wages. Yang Xiao asked, What does your company do? What projects does it have? Tang Shuj took out his phone, tapped on the screen, and handed it over, Look, the app developed by our company. This is a blue ocean. Yang Xiao took a look and saw that there was a sky blue icon on the phone. After opening it, several pictures of beautiful men popped up, and each picture was marked with a different price. Yang Xiao was stunned, now that cowherd is released, can you order takeaway? What? 
Tang Shuj said early, This is our company's project, the must-have app for urban beauty cloud sharing boyfriend. According to her, their company provides a boyfriend rental service, which can be packaged for time, day or week, to help single girls get rid of crazy suitors, workplace sexual harassment and marriage urging army, from mixed races to ethnic minorities. From the gentle uncle to the young wolf dog, all types have everything. Yang Xiao asked suspiciously, speaking of which, you are still a cowboy. Apart from selling art and not selling yourself, what is the difference between your company and the nightclub? Of course there is a difference. Tang Shuj said, we can also issue underscore tickets. Yang Xiao clasped his fists, admire. Today is actually the anniversary of the first anniversary of the relationship between Yang Xiao and Yu Huibo. They plan to go to the hot springs on the outskirts of the city, live there at night, and drive back to see their parents at noon tomorrow. The two met at the gate of Huibo's school. Yang Xiao arrived a while early, and stood waiting under the green shade at the school gate. She was hesitant to call Yu Huibo when she saw her car driving out of the school gate. Yang Xiao was about to stretch out his hand to greet, and suddenly found that the car was slowly parked on the side of the road. A few minutes later, a little girl got out of the passenger seat. The little girl is estimated to be less than 20 years old, dressed very purely, carrying a backpack, and looking like a student. Yang Xiao is not the kind of jealous and cranky girlfriend. Even if she sees a strange girl stepping down from Yu Huibo's passenger seat, she will only be a hitchhiker. Yang Xiao approached and happened to hear the conversation between the girl and Yu Huibo. The girl said, Thank you, Professor Yu. Look, it really is a free rider student. Yu Huibo smiled softly, his eyes were like deep pool water, he could drown a feather. Yu Huibo looked at the young and ignorant little girl and said, I'm out of school, and call me a professor. The little girl flushed before she had been involved in the world. And Yang Xiao, who was standing in the shade of the tree and witnessing all of this, turned green with a lift of his head. Ten minutes later, Yang Xiao walked around from the other side of the gate, pretending to be late, and got into Yu Huibo's car. Yu Huibo didn't drive immediately, but took out a minute and looked at his girlfriend carefully. His gaze is so soft, being watched by such a gaze. No matter which girl it is, he will think that he is deeply loved by him. You look different today. He said. Yang Xiao let him watch it casually, and asked with a smile, where is it different? It feels more beautiful than the last time I met. Yu Huibo praised her. Yang Xiao nodded, yes, of course it's beautiful. I only spent 1000 yuan for cosmetics yesterday, and 500 yuan for eyelashes. They are all in RMB, can they be beautiful? Yu Huibo. He drove towards the hot spring resort, and the two of them had questions and answers along the way, and the atmosphere was harmonious. The price of this resort is extremely expensive. One night's room rate cost Yang Xiao Xiao half a month's salary. If it weren't for celebrating the anniversary, she would never have booked such an expensive hotel. The house is quite luxurious and there is an independent pond in the courtyard, sprinkled with rose petals, it is very romantic. Yu Huibo took off his clothes and put on a bathrobe. He is more than 1.8 meters tall, and because he has been in the classroom all the year round, his skin is very white, but because he is over 35 years old, it is inevitable that he has neglected to exercise. Although he is thin, he is dry and shapeless. When he changed his clothes, Yang Xiao sat aside and looked at him. In the past, she felt that white and thin is better than black and fat, but now she feels that she might as well take the money from him to the museum and spend the night in a corpse. Seeing her not changing clothes, Yu Huibo gently urged, Hurry up, I'll wait for you in the hot spring. These words are full of hints, and this is also the purpose of their two hot spring resorts. Yang Xiao changed his guilt look, and replied, before I came out today, I suddenly found out that I had a period. When the period comes, you must not soak in the hot springs. Not only can't soak in hot springs, 
but also can't have any life. Yu Huibo was surprised, how come, isn't your menstrual period on the fifth of every month? This time, Yang Xiao was surprised. He had known that Yu Huibo worked meticulously, but he didn't expect to remember his menstrual period clearly. Really a good boyfriend posted by individuals. Yang Xiao's expression remained unchanged, and calmly said, I have been busy with work recently and have irregular work and rest. I came early. Speaking of this, today's planned long-term romantic bathing line can only be pampered. Yu Huibo said, It's a pity, I heard that the hot springs here are very good. So you take a good soak for me. Yang Xiao told me, A little more soak, don't waste money. I have an appointment with a spa, and I will do it now. So a couple of lovers, one stayed in the house to soak in the hot spring, and the other went to the spa. When Yu Huibo entered the pool, his mobile phone was laid on the table. Yang Xiao cast a glance, but didn't take it. Instead, he took away the smart watch that the other party had left on the sink. This smart watch was given to him by Yang Xiao as a social gift. It shares a network with the mobile phone, and all software is interoperable. Yang Xiao has never had the habit of chasing gang, nor has he turned over Huibo's mobile phone and has always given him full trust. But when trust collapses, sometimes it only takes a word, a look, and a moment. Yang Xiao didn't know Yu Huibo's password, but she could guess it. His birthday, ID number, phone number. After the fourth attempt, Yang Xiao opened the work number that Yang Xiao used for Huibo. She lay on the spa bed and clicked on his WeChat. The smartwatch has a small screen and it took Yang Xiao a while to flip it over to herself. She was named asterisk 26 there are 25 people before her and 8 people behind. Yang Xiao first clicked on his chat box and found that his notes were very long. Asterisk 26, Yang Xiao, 25 years old, birthday 0820, Leo, shoe size 36, height 168 cm, weight 9598, menstrual period on the fifth of each month. Graduated from the Department of Journalism, and directed at a TV station. Had a boyfriend. Strong personality. The only daughter, a native of the city, without a marriage room. The parents have retired, have high blood pressure, take medicine all the year round, and the parents have medical insurance, so the burden is light. Chest flat, a cup. Yang Xiao. She looked down at her A cup, and thought to herself that she was so sorry. She was so flat, she was really wronged. Yang Xiao randomly clicked on the 18th, and found that the remarks were more than his own, and the 18th had a D cup on the chest, which was marked by Yu Huibo with four exclamation marks. Yang Xiao zoomed in on the head of the 18th and looked at it. She was indeed very handsome and had a big chest. In the chat log, the 18th Guan Yu Huibo called her husband. In fact, it doesn't matter if a husband is not a husband, after all, Yang Xiao now only wants Yu Huibo to be the father-in-law. She used the screen recording function to record all the criminal evidence. With so many girls, she recorded them for more than half an hour. Then, she used Huibo's WeChat to draw all the girls into the same group. Then, sent a kiss expression. Then, send out the screen recording. Then, wait for WeChat to explode. After doing all this, she threw the smart watch into the hot spring pool. The little girl who gave her a spa was terrified and asked tremblingly, Sister, are you crying? Yang Xiao closed his eyes and said, Don't mind, I won't cry for long. My new kind of false eyelashes are very expensive and my eye cream is more expensive. A dog man is not worthy to make me cry for more than five minutes. Five minutes later, Yang Xiao wiped away her tears and dialed the phone of her girlfriend. Tang Tang, I broke up with you Huibo. Yang Xiao said, help me rent a fake boyfriend on the app, and accompany me home to see my parents tomorrow. What? Broke up. Tang Shuj who was sitting on the sofa chasing the drama, immediately sat up, 
and he didn't care about eating half of the watermelon in his arms. He hurriedly asked, Break up? Why break up? Isn't today your first anniversary? As a girlfriend, Tang Shuj is very concerned about Yang Xiao, you quarreled? So you want to break up? Yang Xiao asked calmly, Tang Tang, you and I have known each other for more than ten years. Do you think I am the kind of person who can be enthusiastic and enthusiastic? Tang Shuj thought about it carefully. Although Yang Xiao had a hot temper, everything she did was carefully thought out. She decided to break up with Yu Huibo, there must be a reason for her to do so. Why is that? Tang Shuj was confused. Yang Xiao had nothing to hide. In a few words, he told his girlfriends what happened tonight. When she said that there are more than 30 confidants in Yu Huibo's WeChat, Tang Shuj was so angry. Trash. Bastard. Shameless. Tang Shuj angrily, true to be a love saint, this is 9102, he still wants to embrace the right and the right to enjoy the blessing of the people. Tang Shuj said again, smile, you can't spare him lightly. Let me say that pulling all his girlfriends into a group is only the first step. You can post an anonymous post to expose his good deeds. On their school's forum, copy another copy to school leaders. No need. Yang Xiao interrupted her, those girls are victims just like me, even a few of his students. If I rashly expose it, the straight male cancer keyboard guys on the internet might praise him. Huibo has the ability, and instead laughed at the innocent girls who were being coaxed. After listening to her explanation, Tang Shuj gradually calmed down and said sincerely, Smile, you are really amazing. If I encounter this kind of thing, I must be fed the dog by all my senses. Maybe I will cut it with scissors now. His little JJ is now. At least you are right about one thing. Yang laughed. What's up? He is really a little JJ. Yang Xiao said sarcastically, not only is JJ young, but he is also very active. I thought he was too busy at work before, but now I know that it turned out that he was overuse of the kidneys and premature ejaculation. The two girlfriends chatted for a while, and quickly turned to the topic. Yang Xiao asked Tang Shuj to help her rent a boyfriend on the app, and meet him directly downstairs at her house tomorrow. Tang Shuj patted his chest, no problem, wrap it on me. She asked, what do you want from your boyfriend? Let me see. Now there is a mixed race model on sale, what do you think? Not very good. Yang Xiao was speechless, anyway. I am not looking for a real boyfriend, as long as he is a man, alive, and can help me deal with my parents tomorrow. Yang's parents have high blood pressure. Last year, her father had a heart bypass operation, and he couldn't survive the irritation. Yang Xiao had agreed with his parents in advance that he would take his boyfriend home. If he told them that his boyfriend had cheated and the two broke up, the old couple's body would definitely not be able to hold it. Fortunately, she can also cloud share her boyfriend. When Yang Xiao finished arranging things for tomorrow, it happened that the spa was also finished. She got up and dressed, the girl in the mirror was radiant. She looked in the mirror and told herself softly, Yang Xiao, you are the one who has the last laugh. Don't be knocked down by such a small setback. After all, she went straight back to her room. This resort covers a large area, with a total of only 12 holiday houses, each with its own butler. When she walked to the door, she saw her exclusive butler and five security guards blocking there. They frowned and looked at the door of the room, with a worried expression on everyone's face. What's the matter? Yang Xiao asked. The exclusive housekeeper turned his head when he heard the sound, and saw Yang Xiao wrapped in a bathrobe, walking from the corridor of the first paragraph. He was surprised and happy again, Miss Yang? Are you not in the house? No. Yang Xiao said, I went to the spa, why are you all around the door of my room? After Yang Xiao approached and heard all the sounds coming from the room, he understood. Although there was a door panel blocking it, 
it couldn't stop the hysterical roar of the man in the room. Yang Xiao, you're a, you actually counted on Lao Tzu, Lao Tzu must show you a good look. Yu Huibo in the room had torn his disguise a long time ago, swearing while throwing things in the room. Because the movement he made was too great, the exclusive housekeeper thought he was using violence against Yang Xiao, so the housekeeper called the security guard and hesitated whether to break into the house to save people. Seeing that Yang Xiao came back, the housekeeper hurriedly said, Miss Yang, you are fine, your boyfriend. He whispered, Do you need us to call the police? Yang Xiao moved in his heart and immediately deduced the chain reaction caused by the alarm. Even if the police came, the police could not arrest Yu Huibo for cheating on him. Moreover, Yu Huibo just smashed things and didn't really use violence against Yang Xiao. As long as he had the money to pay for the loss of the resort, he would still get away with it. Can you just spare him like this? Yang Xiao looked at the housekeeper and the strong security guards, sighed and said silently, Don't call the police, call, 120. Butler, hey. Yang Xiao lowered his head and said in a low voice, My boyfriend actually has a very serious schizophrenia and is prone to hallucinations. He has been taking medicine to control it well, but I did not expect that I left for such a short time and he fell ill. Along with her explanation, Yu Huibo's frantic roar continued to be heard inside the door, which was indeed conclusive evidence. The steward nodded immediately, and his eyes on Yang Xiao were full of pity. Such a good girl, she has such a schizophrenic man. He hurriedly called 120 and told the operator that a violent schizophrenic had appeared in the resort. The hospital took it seriously, but within 10 minutes, several fully armed staff arrived with restraints. The butler opened the door with the spare room card, only to see Huibo standing in the middle of the messy room. The vases and murals in the room were all broken and the quilts and pillows were taken apart and thrown into the hot spring pool. The room was full of cotton. As soon as the door opened, Yu Huibo's eyes were red, and he saw Yang Xiao outside the door at a glance. He didn't care about the others outside the door, and he was about to rush forward with teeth and claws. Yang Xiao never thought that this gentleman who had been with him for a year had such a crazy and terrifying side. She just demolished more than 30 cages he had woven with love words, and he simply tore off his mask. It is said that knowing people, knowing the face and not knowing the heart, now Yang Xiao finally sees him clearly. Yang Xiao, Yu Huibo cursed, I want to kill you. Facing the man rushing up, Yang Xiao calmly stepped back, revealing the medical staff behind her. Immediately afterwards, the medical staff and several tall security guards rushed forward and pressed Yu Huibo to the ground. Yu Huibo. He seemed to have been splashed with cold water, instantly calmed down, and asked in shock, Who are you? The doctor did not speak, but Yu Huibo saw the name of the hospital psychiatric department printed on his white coat. Yu Huibo shouted, Let go of me. I am not mentally ill. I am a university professor. I am not mentally ill. The two doctors didn't change their expressions at all. They punched diazepam on him, and saw the man who was just like a mad dog, and suddenly fell asleep. This evening, it can only be described by the word chicken and dog jumping. Yang Xiao first used the card in Huibo's wallet to cross out his loss of smashing the holiday house, and then rushed to the hospital to pay for his hospitalization. As for the bed? It is impossible to accompany the bed in this life. Yang Xiao directly used Huibo's mobile phone to call the superiors of their college, saying that he was in hospital and needed someone to take care of him. The school leader was taken aback and asked, Which hospital? Yang Xiao answered, Department of Psychiatry, Anding Hospital. School leader. Professor Yu, a good researcher, entered the psychiatric department. Yu Huibo is not from the city, and his family is not around. If nothing happened last night, he could casually call one a thirtieth of his girlfriends over to accompany the bed. But now there is no one around him, the school can only send someone to visit the hospital. Before hanging up the phone, the college leader asked Yang Xiao, 
we know the situation. I don't know who you are. How do you call him? I'm not him. Yang Xiao answered calmly, my name is Lei Feng. Yang Xiao didn't sleep all night, and her temples were sore. But she is in good spirits, and there is one tough battle left to fight this weekend. She went home first, changed her clothes, and carefully touched up her makeup. Tang Shuj was awakened by her and came out of his bedroom in a daze. Tang Shuj hugged the pillow with the head of idol, and was so sleepy that he couldn't stand it, and he was still caring about his girlfriend, smile, are you okay? What can I do? Yang Xiao lowered his head to select in the lipstick box, flicked a Dior 999 with his finger, stopped and picked it up. It is said that you can see the personality of a girl through the choice of lipstick color. For example, Tang Shuj is very suitable for the clear grapefruit color, which will make her charming and cute, very lively and girly. Yang Xiao prefers blood-like lipsticks. Just like she herself, she has outstanding temperament, capable and neat. Yang Xiao Xian opened her mouth red, and described the peaks of her lips carefully in front of the mirror. The lipstick cream is delicate, and draws a dazzling red on the lips. In the mirror, she could not see a trace of fatigue, her eyes were bright. Seeing her as usual, Tang Shuj relaxed, rubbing his eyes and muttering sleepily, I have already rented your boyfriend for you. Meet at the gate of your parents' community at 11.30. You are looking for a rush, and the highly praised veterans have no schedule. This is a newcomer, but the photos look very energetic and shouldn't show off. Okay, trouble you. Without the help of a girlfriend, Yang Xiao wouldn't be able to overcome this difficulty today. Yang Xiao went to the garage to fetch the car, and ran towards his parents' house with a kick. She lives in the north of the city, but her TV station is in the west of the city, far away. In order to get a few more hours of sleep every morning, and after working overtime, she doesn't need to cross most of the capital to get home, so she moved out of the house just after graduation. Tang Shuj is at the same table in her junior high school. In the Internet Company 996, the two rent a suite together, and they usually have a caregiver. Yang Xiao drove a small red Buick, the price was not expensive, but every penny was earned on his own, and he didn't ask for help from the family. She has good driving skills. After riding in the torrent of traffic for more than half an hour, she soon arrived at the gate of her parents' house. She looked at her watch, it was only 11 o'clock there was still half an hour before the appointment with Yun's Han boyfriend. She pulled over, turned off the engine, sat in the car alone, quietly sorting out her thoughts. From yesterday to now, it only took more than 10 hours, but her seemingly perfect life was turned upside down in an instant. She personally took revenge on the scumbag, isn't it cool? Cool, very cool but she couldn't help thinking back to him and Yu Huibo over and over again in the past year. She couldn't believe it, why could Yu Huibo treat her meticulously while using the same means to play with other girls' feelings? Yang Xiao has never been a love brain. On the contrary, in her life plan, family, friends and career are all ranked before love. But by the way, she has fallen into a terrible love twice in a row, wasting time and affection on the scumbag. She sighed, only feeling an indescribable exhaustion rushing to her heart. It was said that such a delicate beauty would never cry, but her tears fell out unknowingly. Yang Xiao sat in the car and cried silently for a while. She cried five of the newly planted false eyelashes. She seemed to see the RMB moving away from her, and she felt even more uncomfortable. She was lowering, and suddenly heard a noisy applause from the side of the road. Applause and whistle were mixed together. Yang Xia raised his head and looked out of the car window subconsciously. Only a few boys were gathering to play basketball on the basketball court of the community not far away. Because this community is a family home, the neighborhood is familiar with it. Yang Xia recognized several of the young faces, all high school students in the same community. Time flies so fast. Yesterday they were like cats calling Sister Xiao Xiao behind her, but in the blink of an eye, 
they all grew into big and small boys. Among the group of high school students, there is a figure that stands out. It was a tall young man, more than half a head taller than the surrounding boys. Yang Xiao slapped his tongue and estimated that the young man's height should be far more than 1.9 meters. He was wearing a simple t-shirt and jeans, with short, fluffy hair, and his sideburns were pushed up diagonally, with beads of sweat hanging on the ends of his hair. The basketball was flying under him. He seemed to be doing magic. He broke through the defensive line of those high school students from a tricky angle, rushed to the rim with ease, and then jumped high, handsome, and neatly slammed into the goal. After slam dunk, he grabbed the rim and swung in a bragging manner, his body leaped forward along the inertia, and then fell back into the crowd with ease. After landing, he was quickly surrounded by his surrounding teammates. They surrounded him, high-fiving him one by one, celebrating the victory. He casually put his arms around a teammate's neck, leaned back his neck and laughed wantonly, with a young man's unique pride. Very public, but not offensive. Yang Xiao's tears stopped long ago. She looked in the direction of the basketball court, watching one game after another without knowing it. She is not interested in all sports. Tang Shuj had a crush on Banco when she was 15 or 16 years old. Every time Banco played basketball, she would drag Yang Xiao to watch the game. But Yang Xiao felt that it was boring to watch a few boring men chasing a boring ball around the field, so it's better to go back to study. Counting this down, Yang Xiao hasn't watched a basketball game in seven or eight years. Unexpectedly, she would sit in the car and watch a basketball game today, 12 hours after she was just broken in love. It turned out that she didn't like basketball but she didn't like basketball that was too bad. She subconsciously chased the tall figure, watching the young man running on the court, the hot wind blowing through his fluttering hair, it was a good look of youth. Are the current high school students developing so well? She was catching this incident when the mobile phone in her bag rang. He took a look and found that Tang Shuj had sent her a WeChat message. Sugar Sugar, have you seen your cloud-sharing boyfriend? Sugar, cute naughty Sugar Sugar, woman, are you still satisfied with what you see? Yang Xiao. Oops, it was too fascinating to watch the wild handsome guy and he forgot to do business. Tang Shuj had already sent over the phone number of his shared boyfriend. Yang Xiao, seeing that it was 11.30, hurriedly dialed the number of the boyfriend Yun. The phone rang three times. Beep. 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 The phone was picked up hello. Yang Xiao stared at the basketball court while talking on the phone. It's a coincidence that the slam dunk on the basketball court also walked to the side of the court and started answering the phone. Yang Xiao retracted his gaze and talked on the phone intently. Hello sir, I am. I know, a nice baritone wafted over the phone, with a smile, you are my girlfriend. Yang Xiao was hit by that nice voice in an instant. Her face was hot for three seconds, but she quickly calmed down reminding herself that the other party was just a tool man she had spent hundreds of oceans renting, and that the man's enthusiastic and proactive boyfriend's declaration was just to please the owner's business means nothing. She thought that the other party entered the state so quickly as soon as he came up, but it really didn't look like a novice, maybe he had already experienced a lot of battles. Yang Xiao immediately put on several layers of psychological defenses for herself, and asked in her coldest, most ruthless, most businesslike voice, where are you? It's 11.30 now, why didn't I see you at the gate of the community? I'm also at the gate of the community. On the phone, the man explained with a good temper. I came a while earlier. Your community has too strict access control. You can't enter without a key card. I'm here to exercise. Sports? Yang Xia was taken aback. The mysterious sixth sense urged her to raise her head and look at the basketball court not far away. Before she could react, the tall young man on the basketball court had already turned around. The sun was dazzling, and he squinted his eyes slightly, bending them into two beautiful arcs. 
he searched for something in the crowd on the side of the road, and quickly found his charge this gaze came over and fell straight on Yang Xiao. At that moment, the sunlight seemed to follow his gaze and crashed into her world together. I saw you. On the phone, he heard his hearty voice, you drive a red car, don't you? As he said, he raised a hand high and shook it enthusiastically in her direction. Then he rushed over in three steps and two steps. Yang Xiao sat stiffly in the driver's seat, watching the young figure running closer and closer. Depend on. There was only one thought left in her mind and lingering again and again Tang Shuj wouldn't rent her a high school student, would he? This is a crime. She failed to send her ex-boyfriend to the police station yesterday. Is she going to be sent to the police station today? In just a few seconds, countless storms blew through Yang Xiao's head. The young man naturally didn't know what she was thinking. He stopped by the car door, his tall figure covering her from the sun. Hello, Miss Yang, right? As he said, he profusely put his arm into the car window, accurately grasped her left hand on the steering wheel, squeezed it, and shook it up and down. I am Meng Yufan, the rain that rains, the one that rains heavily. I am very happy to serve you. Service. Wait first. Yang Xiao firmly, decisively and coldly took his hand out of his palm, and his skeptical gaze fell on him unabashedly, Little brother, you how old are you this year? Are you an adult? Hey. The young man, no, he should be called Meng Yufan and he tilted his head slightly in doubt. This action made him look very much like a big dog waiting for his owner to pick him up. He was puzzled, I have been an adult for several years. Do you want to see my credentials? Yang Xiao looked at him carefully after hearing the words, and found that although his face was young, it was by no means a childish appearance. Blame her for being preconceived. Seeing him playing basketball with a group of high school students, she mistakenly thought that he was also a high school student. To be honest, this rental boyfriend is indeed tall and handsome, and when he looked closer, he discovered how outstanding his appearance is. He looks like a sunny boy who loves sports, and the simplest t-shirt and jeans can't hide his good figure. He doesn't have the exaggerated big muscles of a fitness coach, but tight and smooth lines, especially his two arms. The muscles are extremely beautiful, and they are tenderly kissed by the sun and turned into a Whedon color. Yang Xiao couldn't help thinking of the WeChat message sent by Tang Shuj woman, are you still satisfied with what you saw? Yang Xiao thought, satisfied, she is really satisfied. Meng Yufan put one hand on the car door and bent down to talk to her, staring at her intently with his bright eyes. At this moment, there was a sound of footsteps over the basketball court, and a basketball fell straight beside the car. Brother Fan. Leave as you say. The group of high school students who were still playing ball chased them noisily. Although it was the first time they met today, Meng Yufan's superb skills easily convinced them. It's that simple to build friendship between boys. Brother Fan is leaving. Meng Yufan leaned half of his body on the car, turned around, and said with a smile, Aren't you talking about it? Brother Fan came to his girlfriend's house to meet the parents, and he will fight with you again. I was so sweaty that my mother-in-law should blast me out. Wow! The high school students were at the age of boobs, and hurriedly shouted, Girlfriend? Is that your girlfriend in the car? When Yang Xiao heard it, his heart was not good. Their community is the family building of the unit, and the relationship between upstairs and downstairs is very close. The whole community will know who has a turmoil. She took her boyfriend home today and told her parents not to talk to neighbors in the community, because she was afraid of being watched by the ants. How can I think that the original boyfriend was fired by her, and the fake boyfriend rented temporarily went online with a high profile? Yang Xiao covered his face with both hands wishing to have Harry Potter's invisibility cloak and disappear in place. The high school students rushed up headlong, craned their necks and looked through the car window, with curiosity on everyone's face. They babbled, Brother Fan, let my sister-in-law look up and let us see sister-in-law look up. 
Sister-in-law, what building do you live in? Sister-in-law, have we met? Meng Yufan stopped them like a little chicken, it's all right, your sister-in-law is shy, don't scare her. Yang Xiao didn't know what was going on with him, and when his mind was hot, he let go of his hand and hammered the steering wheel hard. The car horn made a loud bang, and the group of chicks were instantly scared to silence. Quiet. Yang Xiao's eyes were sharp, and he glanced at the group of little guys who were joining in the fun. If it is noisy, I will call your parents, and all of you will go home and write five or three. The high school students were stunned. Unexpectedly, the enthusiastic and cheerful brother Fan was actually the boyfriend of the eldest sister in the community. They stammered and shouted, Smile, Xiao Xiao, you are back. Yang Xiao has been a child of someone else's family since he was young. As soon as this group of little doubting could walk, they dragged their noses as her little tail, and grew up listening to her legends all the way. How can I think that all of a sudden, Sister Xiao Xiao actually took her boyfriend home? It turns out that Brother Fan is not Brother Fan, but brother-in-law. Yang Xiao used the central control lock to open the door of the passenger seat, and then gave Meng Yufan a slapstick, get in the car. Meng Yufan also realized that he had done something wrong, so he buried his head and cautiously rushed into the passenger seat. As soon as he got in the car, Yang Xiao immediately stepped on the accelerator and rushed all the way into the community. Meng Yufan had long legs, with two legs curled up there, looking so pitiful. He asked pitifully, Um, Miss Yang, can I adjust the seat? No. Yang Xiao replied stiffly. Meng Yufan didn't dare to speak any more, lowered his brows and dumbfounded. Yang Xiao parked the car in the basement, turned off the engine, pulled the handbrake, and raised the window. The entire compartment instantly became a silent secret room. Yang Xiao turned his head to look at him, and Meng Yufan let her look stiffly. Yang Xiao asked, Mr. Meng, do you have anything to say? Meng Yufan, that. He chuckled twice, your community seems to have a good relationship, and the neighbors actually know each other. Yang Xiao told herself not to be angry. Mr. Meng, let me remind you that you are the boyfriend for a day I rented. You are only responsible for accompanying me home today and help me through this level. Now you tell those high school students that we are dating, believe it or not until tonight, mothers-in-laws in the whole community will know about this, even when we get married, which hotel to hold the wedding at, which hospitals obstetrics and gynecology department filed at, which institutions confinement wife, and even the second child have you figured out your name for me. Every time she said a word, Meng Yufan's body curled down. She snapped like a machine gun for two minutes, and Meng Yufan was about to slide under the passenger seat. He has long legs and is stuck there, feeling wronged like a tumaturai child. Yang Xiao told herself that she could not be soft-hearted, she was party A, she was the sponsor, she was the person who paid for the service, and she had the right to give negative comments. Didn't your company tell you to honestly follow the script and not to add dramas without authorization? I'm sorry, I just started doing this part-time job and I am not skilled in the business. Meng Yufan apologized as the biggest customer of Tian Dotty, you are the third order I took, or else I will give you a discount. The third order? Yang Xiao asked, I also saw the parents for the first two orders. No, no, no. Meng Yufan shook his head, one is to accompany the employer to go shopping, help her carry a bag go to the milk tea shop to take a few photos of lovers, and then take charge of complimenting her for her beauty in all aspects when the employer tries on clothes. The other is I accompany the employer to ask for salary. The company sees her as a little girl who is a bully. She owed her three months of salary and did not pay her. She said that her boyfriend practiced boxing, so she called me over. Yang Xiao was still angry, but after listening to him, he almost laughed. Dignified party A, he broke his merits in less than three seconds. She turned her head hurriedly, not wanting the young man to see that she was amused. 
What kind of boyfriend did Tang Shuj rent to her? He looked like an energetic and handsome guy, but he was actually stupid and owed Rua. She finally stopped her smile and asked pretentiously, How did you think of doing this? Lack of money. The young man replied straightforwardly, I didn't apply for a scholarship this year, and I don't want to ask for money at home, so I can only find a part-time job. Scholarship? Are you still a student? Well, graduate student. Meng Yufan stood out proudly, do you want to see my student ID? No. Yang Xiao hurriedly stopped him. She thought that he was indeed a student who did not show up in the ivory tower, and he was not at all vigilant. The relationship between money and goods like them is the most taboo to leak true information. They seem to be boy and girl friends on the surface, but in fact they are just two strangers. If they know too well, they will be embarrassed. The two of them sat in the car and checked the script again including how they met, how long they had been with each other, and their hobbies. When everything was set up, Yang Xiao exhaled deeply and closed his eyes, let's do this first, let's do whatever else happens. I hope that her comrade Ein Arms will not lose the chain on the spot, and can help her to hide her parents smoothly. Yang Xiao got out of the car and took out the gift prepared in advance from the trunk. Supplements for mom, liquor for dad, and beautifully packaged fruits. It was the first time she took her boyfriend home, and she didn't know what to buy, so she bought some things that parents could use. It is said that Meng Yufan bought it. The gifts were heavy, and she still remembered that when she put them in the car, they were installed in several batches. But with all his strength, Meng Yufan took it all in his hand with a lift with his left hand and a tugging with his right hand. Not only that, Meng Yufan also bent his right elbow and swayed at her. Yang Xiao Meng Yufan shook his arm at her again. Yang laughed for three seconds before reacting, and followed up with a small step, taking his arm. They leaned so close, the girl's soft curves clung to his body, and the sweet fragrance from her hair came slowly, drifting into the tip of Meng Yufan's nose. The young man was a little embarrassed. He had never had such close contact with other employers before. There is an elevator in the underground garage leading directly upstairs, and three mirrors are installed in the car, which clearly reflects the figures of the two. Meng Yufan is 1.94 meters tall, and Yang Xiao is leaning against him, feeling like a little bird. She wore a bright yellow dress today. With a slight turn, the skirt spread out like a wave. In the mirror, her red lips were bright and her eyeliner was raised high, like a blooming rose. Meng Yufan looked at the two intimate figures in the mirror. If he had a tail behind him, he would be shaking it up. Meng Yufan thought, for such a beautiful young lady, although she has a bad temper, isn't it easy for her to find a boyfriend? Why rent a boyfriend online? The elevator door opened, and the two of them walked out of the car. There are six households on the first floor of the family building, and the Yang family is on the far left corner. The door was cleaned very cleanly. In order to welcome their daughter and boyfriend to the door, Yang's parents cleaned the floor mats in advance. Yang Xiao was standing in front of his house with Meng Yufan in his arms, feeling his heart beating like a drum. Since she was a child, she has told many white lies in front of her parents. When she was in elementary school, her mother once forgot to cook her dinner and went to the night shift. She said that she was not hungry and she was afraid that her mother would blame herself, when she was in college, she was defeated by one vote in the election for the president of the student council. She said she was not sad. Just enough time to concentrate on studying, last year, she told her father that his heart surgery can be 100% reimbursed, but in fact, she used her savings to make up for it. And this time, it was definitely the biggest lie in her life. Meng Yufan, Yang Xiao tightened his fingers, and firmly grasped the young man's arm, My parents are not in good health. You must not show anything, understand. Before the youth could answer, the anti-theft door in front of them suddenly opened. A pair of harmonious old couples appeared behind the door. From their facial features, 
one could see the blood relationship between the couple and Yang Xiao. I'm back with a smile. Mother Yang said enthusiastically, Oh, just come, why do you buy so many things? Papa Yang beside her looked solemn, using the critical eyes of the father-in-law to look at the son-in-law, and majestically looking at Meng Yufan's chin. No way, the old houses are all short, and the door frame is 1.8 meters high. Not only Meng Yufan's chin can be seen. Fortunately, Meng Yufan had the eyesight to see, and he squatted down quickly, so that he and Dad Yang's eyes met. Father Yang didn't expect that his daughter's boyfriend would be so tall. This kind of looking up angle made his majesty as a parent tottering. He coughed and asked in a deep voice, You are just a smiling boyfriend? How do you call it? I... Meng Yufan's throat rolled and stuck for three seconds. Yang Xiao didn't expect that he was going to crash, so anxiously, he quietly twisted the inside of his forearm. And this twist of her finally recalled Meng Yufan's mentality I'm Meng Yufan. The young man roared so much that the chandelier in the corridor was shaking, Dad, Mom, this is the first meeting, please take care of me. Yang Xiao. What's the matter? Are you now called parents? An awkward atmosphere filled the four. Yang Xiao saw his father's face pale, and didn't know whether his heart just after the bypass operation could hold up this dad. At the critical moment, Yang's mother still saved the scene decisively. She raised a gentle smile, the wrinkles around her eyes were slightly deeper, but it made her look gentler. Don't stand here anymore. Mother Yang walked out of the hallway, smile. Hurry up and let. Let Xiao Meng come in. With that, Mama Yang patted her lover's back lightly, indicating that he should pay attention to his attitude and definitely not scare away his daughter's boyfriend with a cold face. Although it is too abrupt for the boy to call parents in one mouth, it doesn't mean that he really loves to laugh and want to marry her. Parents should never forget the basics of hospitality at this time. Under the leadership of Mama Yang, the remaining three people walked into the house awkwardly. Yang Xiao hadn't slept all night, and her temples were buzzing and sore. As a result, he was shocked by the fake boyfriend next to him, and felt that his entire head was about to explode. Meng Yufan is tall and needs to bow his head when entering the house, otherwise he will hit the door frame. When he walked into the hallway to change his shoes, he was so high that he even covered the light above his head. The old house is not well lit, so the entrance can only be illuminated by this overhead light. He stood completely under the light bulb, and the entire hallway dimmed in an instant. Only the top of his head was shining like a dazzling ball of light in the dark. Yang Xiao thought, I am very angry now, I must not laugh now. She took out a pair of guest slippers from the shoe cabinet and motioned Meng Yufan to put them on. Meng Yufan took off his sneakers the size of a boat and tucked both feet into slippers the forefoot went in, but the heel directly stepped on the tile. Yang Xiao. She didn't say anything, Meng Yufan blushed first, I'm sorry, I am 46 feet. The shoe size of an ordinary man is generally 42 to 44, and Meng Yufan's feet are really big, but his height is supported there and it doesn't look abrupt. Mother Yang said oh, Xiao Meng, you are such a big and tall man aren't you a model? My daughter works in a TV station, and she always meets many celebrities when she comes and goes. Seeing Meng Yufan's handsome Zhou Zheng, Mama Yang thought he was one of them. No, no. Meng Yufan lowered his head and looked at Mama Yang, who was just over 1.5 meters tall, and said obediently, I am a basketball player, and I am playing while reading. As soon as these words came out, let alone Yang's parents were shocked, even Yang Xiao's movement of changing shoes was slow for a second. The shock of the Yang family's parents is that they didn't expect their daughter to find a student. The daughter has a mature personality, so why would she like the boy in the ivory tower? And Yang Xiao is thinking about the boy's self-introduction method if it is a general physical student, he will not particularly emphasize that he is playing while he is going to school. Listening to his tone, Meng Yufan should be an athlete who often plays on the field. What kind of luck is she? 
Is it possible that the boyfriend who rents casually is still a star player? She now regrets not paying attention to basketball games. Do you still know that you are a basketball player? Yang Xiao answered, and said in an intimate tone, Just now at the gate of the community, you bullied a few high school students and watched you slam dunks and dunks all the time. Slam dunk, you have to bully those little guys and cry. She also made a special play for herself, clenching her fist and hammering his arm a few times, it really seemed like a little couple was joking. However, when her body leaned over, the boy's body was obviously stiff for a few seconds, and the acting was very embarrassing. Fortunately, Yang's father and Yang mother didn't notice the disharmony between them. Seeing the young couple so close, they thought they were in love. Because the Yang family really didn't have slippers suitable for Meng Yufan, in the end there was no choice but to let him walk into the living room directly wearing socks. Mother Yang drew her daughter aside, and said a little angrily, Tell me, how old you are, and your work is still so improper. If you tell your mom that Xiao Meng's feet are big, I won't go to the supermarket downstairs. Have you bought a pair of plus-size slippers? Yang laughed obediently, admitting his mistake, and said coquettishly, Mom, I finally came back. Are you going to waste your precious time in preaching? Mother Yang was really distracted, took her hand, and said anxiously, Smile, you really have to pay attention to your body. Mom also watched the news that day and said that the white-collar workers have long overtime hours and the risk of sudden death. You can you can't get up in a hurry and stay up for two days and nights and drink coffee as water. Mom, I'm very sorry, so don't worry. Yang Xiao hurriedly responded. Wait. Mama Yang suddenly raised her head and looked at her eyes carefully, why are your eyes red? Have you stayed up late, or have you cried? It is indeed her mother, who is aware of the details. Yang Xiao not only stayed up all night, but also cried two times fiercely. But Yang Xiao couldn't really tell the truth to her mother, her brain went down for a while, and she didn't know how to make it through. At the critical moment, her comrade Meng Yufan, her comrade in arms, rushed over and came to an epic rescue field. Yes, it's a cosmetic contact lens. She didn't wear the cosmetic contact lens in the morning. She sharpened her eyes. You see it is bleeding. Meng Yufan leaned over, put one hand on Yang Xiao's shoulder, and hugged her. I have asked her to take off the cosmetic contact lenses, so don't worry. Yes, 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 it is a cosmetic contact lens. Yang Xiao immediately connected, the new cosmetic contact lens I bought on Dobeo is particularly uncomfortable. I guess it is a copycat. I will give it a bad review when I go back. You've always loved stinky beauty since you were a kid. Papa Yang sat on the sofa and said with some dissatisfaction, You don't have myopia. You have to poke that kind of stained glass in your eyes, it hurts your eyes. And you look at you, back when I visit home, I still dress up as if I go to work. The foundation is so thick and my lips are so red that my skin can't breathe anymore. Yang Xiao thought desperately, Oh my god, her father is here again. She was obviously 25 years old, but her father still thought she was a 15-year-old girl. The best-looking hairstyle is Di Guangming, the most beautiful clothes are school uniforms, and the most suitable skincare product is Dabao. Even the use of colored lipsticks will be talked about by my dad for a long time. The most terrible thing happened when she just graduated, when a neighbor and aunt wanted to introduce her to her, Dad Yang directly sent the photo on her ID. On that blind date, the man declined after seeing the photos. Father Yang was still wondering, how could the other party look down on her because she thought she was so beautiful? Yes. Yang Xiao thought, in her father's mind, she could be a Miss China without makeup. If she puts on makeup, then the four little girls in the entertainment industry combined would not be as good as her. The Star Chaser girl has a mother-in-law filter, and her father is a father-in-law filter that has lasted for 25 years, and as she gets older, the filter becomes thicker and thicker. Yang Xiao was afraid that her father would force her to remove makeup on the spot, 
so she hurriedly took her mother into the kitchen, leaving Meng Yufan alone in the living room to deal with her father. Meng Yufan panicked, his eyes chasing her pitifully, looking very much like a big dog abandoned by his owner. Yang Xiao took advantage of her parents not paying attention, and showed a grim smile at her fake boyfriend, stretched out her right index finger to make a gesture of death on her neck, and then left a stare of kill you if you dare to show stuffing. He slowly closed the door to the kitchen. Meng Yufan, who stayed in place and dared not move. At this moment, Dad Yang shot, no, he started talking. Xiao Meng, stop standing, sit down. Father Yang pointed to the small bench opposite the sofa, Come on, tell me, how did you meet my baby girl? Meng Yufan thought, it is too difficult for him to make some money and risk his life. Fortunately, none of the questions asked by Dad Yang was super class. Meng Yufan confronted Yang Xiao with the answer in advance, not to mention it, but at least he was able to score 80 points. Meng Yufan sat on the small bench properly, the 1.94-meter big man curled up into a hill with both hands on his knees. Father Yang asked how they met. Meng Yufan recites the answer, Xiao Xiao and I met at a gathering of friends. At that time, we had a good impression of each other on the first side, and after contacting several times, we naturally became together. This answer is barely qualified. Father Yang asked again, You just said you were a student? How old are you then? Meng Yufan replied, I am 22 years old this year and I am studying in graduate school. 22 years old. Father Yang frowned, So, you are three years younger than us. Yang Xiao joined the TV station after graduating from a bachelor degree. She was a reporter and later turned to be a choreographer behind the scenes. Work is the most stimulating growth, especially when working in a TV station. I don't know how many demons and monsters I see every day. This sharpened her mind and allowed her to quickly grow from a fledgling little girl to today's female devil, female elite. Compared with her, Meng Yufan, who is young and has not yet stepped out of the campus gate, does not seem very reliable. Although it is said that the female junior holds gold bricks, but... The thought of putting the pearl in his palm into the hands of the mounted boy in front of him made Dad Yang feel even more uncomfortable. In the kitchen, Yang Xiao's mother and daughter also happened to talk about age. Yang's family eats dumplings at noon today. Yang's mother is responsible for making dumplings, and Yang Xiao is responsible for rolling the skins. The mother and daughter work together, chatting and cooking. Mother Yang said in surprise, Xiao Meng is so much younger than you? Oh, she looks quite young on the face. But with a smile, haven't you always liked older men? Yang Xiao protested, don't spread rumors, how can I? Mom still doesn't know you? You see when you were in high school, when you listened to popular songs, others listened to Pan Chue, J. Zhou, and so on. You don't like those, you only like Dr. Chen, you like to listen to Cantonese old songs, and your university at that time, you were chasing Korean dramas together in your dormitory. The male lead was a 40-year-old uncle. For a while, you changed your profile picture to that male lead, and your first boyfriend. Mother Yang's words came to an abrupt end, and she said unequivocally, forget it, don't mention him. Yang Xiao's first boyfriend the overbearing president with reproductive cancer, was eight years older than Yang Xiao. Yang Xiao had just graduated at the time, and was impressed by the maturity of the other person, and only then had a toyer relationship with him. But the more contact and the greater the differences between the two, they eventually parted ways. There is nothing I can't mention. Yang Xiao rolled the dumpling wrappers, and calmly followed the words. In my heart, my ex-boyfriend is a handful of ashes in the crematorium. We don't have any contact with him except for the incense. Fortunately, Yang Xiao didn't tell her parents when she was in love with Yu Huibo, otherwise, if she let them know, she would have fallen into the old man's pit again, and she would definitely be heartbroken. I used to like older men. I think they are mature and considerate. 
but now I find that maturity is not linked to age. Many men have grown older, but they don't have the thoughts that match them. Therefore, her first boyfriend, who had a net worth of hundreds of millions, was still bound by the feudal patriarchal ideology, and said the shameless content of no son without a certificate, therefore, her second boyfriend can be while socializing with her, chatting with countless girls at the same time, just because this can prove his charm. Yang Xia raised a handful of dry flour and dropped it on the rolled dumpling wrapper. While she was doing it, she said, they have less and less hair, bigger and bigger belly, yellower and yellower jokes, more and more cigarettes. It seems that since entering society, all men are speeding up their horsepower and becoming greasy. They ran in the direction of Wang. They have neither interesting souls nor beautiful skins. If your daughter chooses them, your daughter will be blind. Mother Yang said anxiously, but... But now, you have found a young person, and there is no guarantee that he will not become the kind of person you mentioned in the future. It's okay, I have time to teach him. Yang Xia raised his eyebrows and believed, if you don't really teach well, I will kick him and change it. Oh, oh, you can't talk nonsense about this. Mother Yang went to cover her mouth as she said, how sad it is for Xiao Meng to hear that. Mom, your concept has turned 180 degrees. Yang laughed and vomited, I thought he was young just now, and I don't think he is worthy of your daughter. When your daughter says she wants to change, you feel distressed. I never said he was unworthy. Mom just cared about your love life. You have been a girl with ideas since you were young. If you think he is good, then mom thinks he is good. Mama Yang said hurriedly, go ahead. Now, mom is a fashionable aunt, and she usually surfs the internet. Mom knows that nowadays, sisters and brothers are in love. I have read several articles, all about sisters and brothers. In our age, this is called Lao Niu eat tender grass, but among you young people, it's called, is called. Mother Yang knocked her head and finally remembered the word, it's called little milk wolf. Yang Xiao almost laughed under the table. Mom, you are really my real mother. Yang Xiao asked, what a little milk wolf, do you think he looks like that? He is obviously just a silly golden retriever. She raised a golden retriever touring hound right next to her house, and looking majestic, it was so handsome. In fact, it is essentially a second hand. Once the golden retriever was chasing a bee, but his mouth was swollen by the bee's sting, and his entire head swelled into a small watermelon. The mother and daughter were chatting and laughing in the kitchen when the light bulb above their heads flickered and then went out. Yang Xiao was taken aback, and was about to ask if the power went out, when he heard his father's voice in the living room. Don't be nervous, you two. The light bulb in the living room is aging, I will switch on and change it. The mother and daughter looked at each other. Mother Yang wiped her hands on her aprons, and said strangely, your dad really remembers that every time it comes out. The guests are still there. Even if you want to change the light bulb, you can't change it at this time. Yang Xiao also said, let's go and see, my dad is old, it's too dangerous to climb up to change the light bulb. I will help him hold a ladder. As they spoke, they walked out of the kitchen together. They didn't think that they were shocked by the scene in the living room as soon as they opened the door. It turned out that the person who changed the light bulb was not Dad Yang at all, but Meng Yufan, who came here for the first time. Moreover, he didn't use a ladder at all, instead relying on his height, he reached out and took off the lampshade directly. The old house of his family's unit was much lower in story than the current commercial house. Meng Yufan was 1.94 meters tall in the living room, as conspicuous as the pin C needle borrowed by Monkey King. He lifted his arm easily, took off the lampshade, easily unscrewed the old bulb, easily replaced the new one, and then easily installed the lampshade back. Yang Xiao used five consecutive words easy and relaxed to describe his actions because he was really, too easy. Without moving the ladder or ascending the height, he really did the job of changing the light bulb as simply as plucking a leaf. 
he took the rag and wiped the lampshade very carefully, and it took no more than two minutes from start to finish. Father Yang closed the switch pop, the light in the living room turned on. The ceiling light in the Yang's living room is the most common ring shape. The color of the original light bulb has become muddy. After the new light bulb is replaced, the bright halo is so dazzling and eye-catching. Meng Yufan stood against the ring. The white halo is holy like an overage angel who has just descended from the world. Mother Yang's eyes sharpened instantly. At this moment, she has seen how the son in law will contribute to her future cleanup, help her clean the top glass of the balcony, the dust on the top layer of the bookcase, and dismantle the range hood lightly. Yang Xiao didn't even know that Meng Yufan just changed a light bulb for her house, and her mother had already written his name on her household registration book. She is only thinking about one thing now is changing the light bulb within the scope of the business, and does it need additional money? After changing the light bulb, Yang Xiao found an excuse to call Meng Yufan to the balcony. Meng Yufan leaned over with his tail wagging, and asked her invitingly, Sister Xiao Xiao, do you want to change the light bulb on the balcony? He can distinguish the interpersonal distance. He called Xiao Xiao in front of his parents and sister Xiao Xiao in private. Yang Xiao asked him, isn't there any extra money to change the light bulb? Meng Yufan reacted for a while before he understood what she was talking about. No, no. He said hurriedly, although this is not in my business, changing the light bulb is a trivial matter, so why would I want my sister's money? Yang Xiao asked again, then is there anything that needs extra money? Meng Yufan memorized the staff rules, and Yang Xiao learned that this app is so dark, an extra physical contact is charged according to the number of times, if the man drives the car when going out, he also needs to pay hard work, if he accompanies the guests to drink, the price is even more expensive. Yang Xiao hurriedly drew a red line in her heart. It is not easy for her to make money, but she can't spend more on these trivial things. Yang Xiao curiously asked, Why did my dad suddenly ask you to change the light bulb? Meng Yufan scratched his head, It was not my uncle who asked me to change it, but I offered to help change it. He straightened his chest and said triumphantly, I did my homework specifically and collected the 10 tips on how to behave. The first is to be insightful and help each other's parents to do things, such as changing light bulbs, washing dishes, and so on. Yang Xiao was speechless, what else did you write in your homework? You don't have to write, remember to show affection at all times, so that parents feel that the young couple is in a good relationship, right? Meng Yufan was pleasantly surprised, sister, have you read that experience post too? Yang Xiao thought, as expected, he was still a kid, stupid, with innocence written all over his face. Yang Xiao sighed and said, You, don't do it too deliberately. You don't need to help with housework or show affection, just relax. To be honest, I'd rather you be rude, it's best to show straight men with cancer. One sighed. Ah? Why? Yang Xiao answered frankly, You are behaving so well now. When the two of us break up, my parents will definitely ask questions. Yang Xiao can rent Meng Yufan once, but cannot rent him to act every time he goes home. Yang Xiao planned to tell his parents about the breakup with Meng Yufan in two months. Meng Yufan was taken aback for a while, and did not speak for a while, as if only now remembering that the relationship between him and her was only the simplest financial relationship. As a boyfriend on a temporary lease, the lease period is only four hours. This is like a magic of Cinderella. When the time is up, the magic disappears. This is the first time he has stepped into her house to accompany her to see her parents. If nothing happens, it should be the last time. Yang Xiao saw the silly look of the big boy, a little soft-hearted, but now she is all overwhelmed with a problem and she really has no time to be a babysitter to make him happy. Meng Yufan was nearly 30 centimeters taller than Yang Xiao. Yang Xiao raised his head and talked to him for a while, feeling that his cervical spondylosis would be cured. It seems that if she finds a new boyfriend in the future, she can also find a taller one, 
and she can save money on cervical spondylosis. You bow your head. Yang Xiao waved and motioned for the boy to bow his head. Meng Yufan bent down, like a docile golden retriever, and brought her furry head to her. She raised her hand and rubbed his hair naturally, everything was in harmony as if this action had happened countless times, thank you today, my sister will give you five-star praise. The Yang family's balcony was separated by a transparent sliding door. Every movement they made on the balcony, Yang's father and mother in the living room could see clearly. Seeing that the young couple is so close, Mother Yang is so happy that the wrinkles around her eyes pile up. It was Dad Yang who snorted from the corner of his mouth, even the light bulb that had just been replaced was not pleasing to his eyes. Madam Yang said, How much do you think Xiao Xiao and Xiao Meng have made? Let me say that you are three years short of three years old. Younger boys don't have so many thoughts, and they are all good to their daughter-in-law. Dad Yang is not happy anymore, I am two years older than you, don't I still treat my daughter-in-law with all my heart? Madam Yang said bluntly, you were not handsome enough when you were young. If you are not good enough for me, then what am I doing when I marry you? Dad Yang. Who said that he is not handsome enough? When he was young, he was also a literary and artistic backbone, an athlete of the unit, and a lot of female colleagues chasing him. Yang's family eats dumplings at noon. This menu was ordered by Yang Xiao and his mother a week in advance. Mother Yang was thinking of her daughter's boyfriend coming home, and it coincided with the mid-autumn festival. How could she have to prepare four meat and four ingredients to have face, but Yang Xiao was afraid that her mother was too hard, so she said she just wanted to eat dumplings, so she said she just wanted to eat dumplings. So. Mother Yang prepared amaranth filling, cabbage meat filling, vegetarian three fresh filling, carrot and beef filling in advance, and wrapped it for a long time, and cooked it into a big pot of red, green and green, which made people appetite. Before the meal, the four raised the glasses in their hands. The orange juice in the glasses exudes a sweet and sour smell. Happy Mid-Autumn Festival! They blessed each other. Xiao Meng you are welcome, just treat this as your own home. Mother Yang said softly, this is stuffing made by auntie, I don't know if it suits your appetite. It's all right, it's all right. Meng Yufan said very sincerely, I love to eat dumplings. If you don't believe me, please smile. Smile said that making dumplings at noon today made me greedy. He handed the narration to Yang Xiao and she cheered up and accompanied him for a while to play the scene of an affectionate couple. When the meal was officially started, the chatting on the table gradually calmed down. Yang Xiao is busy with work and can only go home once a month. It has been a long time since she had eaten dumplings made by her mother. She had a great appetite and ate fifteen in one go. She has been able to hold it any longer, but Dad Yang is still putting it in her bowl. Smile. You finally came back once, haven't you eaten more? Have you been losing weight recently? See you are hungry and thin. Dad, I really can't eat it anymore. Yang Xiao looked at the pile of dumplings in the blink of an eye, only feeling that his stomach was also full. But the dishes picked by the elders didn't make sense to return. Yang Xiao stared at the small buns in the bowl, worrying about how to eliminate them. He didn't expect a pair of chopsticks to be stretched out from her and directly picked the dumplings away. Yang Xiao subconsciously followed the pair of chopsticks, and saw that the big boy beside him had a natural attitude, holding the dumplings and dipping them into the sauce in the bowl, and sending them directly into his mouth. The dumplings made by Yang's mother are thin and big, and Yang Xiao always eats small bites. But Meng Yufan swallowed the whole in one bite, stuffing his cheeks bulging. While chewing, he took four dumplings from Yang Xiao's bowl. The movements were smooth and familiar. They looked like a couple who had been in a relationship for many years. The boyfriend wiped out the endless food for his girlfriend without complaint. Something, not the slightest dislike. Yang Xiao. Although you know that these are all scripts, the service attitude is too good, isn't it? The two boyfriends she had previously met one for each match, 
must be divided into meals every time she eats, even if she eats hot pot, one person and one cup are required. There is no lively atmosphere at all. Seeing Yang Xiao staring at him, Meng Yufan nervously thought that he had done something wrong again. He looked down at the dumplings in his bowl, carefully dialed one back into Yang Xiao's bowl, and said, I thought you couldn't eat it anymore. Then, I'll give it back to you. No need. Yang Xiao didn't think he would misunderstand, and said hurriedly, I really can't eat anymore, you can take it all. Only then did Meng Yufan happily put the dumplings back. He is tall, an athlete, and he has a large natural appetite. Meng Yufan almost finished all the dumplings on the table at the speed of a wind and a cloud. While eating, he praised the delicious dumplings made by Yang's mother. Rainbow farts chased a slice. Yang Ma was coaxed into a smile by him. Which mother-in-law doesn't like to speak nicely, and is a son-in-law who is particularly cheering for dinner? Xiao Meng, are you not full? It's okay, there are still people who have not eaten the pot there, mom. I mean, auntie, let you go down. Then, Mama Yang put on her apron again and gave it to the first visitor. The future son-in-law went to cook dumplings. Mother Yang was happily walking up and down, and it seemed that she had completely turned to the enemy's camp. Father Yang, who was sitting across from the table, snorted, looked up at Meng Yufan, who was a lot taller than himself even if he sat down, and decided to attack alone. I saw Father Yang got up and took out two small glasses from the wine cabinet, and another bottle of good wine that had been kept for many years, unscrewed it, sent it to the tip of his nose and smelled it, and then carefully poured each in the glass. Half a cup. Xiao Meng. Father Yang stared at Meng Yufan with a serious face, and pushed one of the cups in front of him. To take one is to have a drink. The clear and transparent liquor swayed in the glass, and Meng Yufan's heart also swayed. Yang Xiao quickly stopped, Dad, didn't the doctor tell you to drink less? That's just a cup, not a lot. Dad Yang thought. Before she got married, the daughter took her elbow and went out, but it was just for her boyfriend to accompany her for a drink, which made her nervous. Father Yang said sourly, I didn't bully him either. For this small cup, he must drink with me. This time, without waiting for Yang Xiao to say anything, Meng Yufan had already taken the glass of wine and pinched it in his well-knotted palm. Yang Xiao looked at him in surprise, her long eyelashes trembling slightly nervously, You. Sister Xiao Xiao, it's okay. Meng Yufan leaned over and whispered in her ear, Although the company stipulates to accompany wine to collect money, I don't charge money for drinking with my father-in-law. After speaking, he raised the glass of white wine with both hands, touched Father Yang, and then poured his head up into his abdomen. After this glass of wine, the relationship between Father Yang and Meng Yufan eased. Meng Yufan actually seldom drank alcohol. He also drank beer. After a cup of high-quality liquor, his face burned up, and his thinking became a lot slower. Fortunately, although he is a little drunk, he is wise. He didn't speak nonsense, nor did anything rude, and he was extremely fluent in answering questions with Dad Yang. When the new dumplings were on the pot, he ate another round, and Papa Yang poured him a small glass of wine when he saw it. Two men, you have a drink and I have a drink, the more you drink, the deeper the relationship. Father Yang is an old world, and when he was young, he didn't fall for a thousand cups. In the past two years, there have been fewer people who are ill healthy, but they can't be drunk by just twos and threes of liquor. However, Meng Yufan didn't have much of him. After drinking two cups in a row, he began to sit on the chair and swayed from side to side, still giggling from time to time. Yang Xiao couldn't even see that he was drunk. For fear that he would say something that shouldn't be said, he hurriedly blocked his father's pouring hand, Dad, he is all drunk. Where are you drunk? Dad Yang asked Meng Yufan, playing with a child's temper, Comrade Xiao Meng, are you drunk? Meng Yufan raised his arms and shouted, Report to the chief, 
I am not drunk. Then he ate two more plates of dumplings. When Mama Yang made dumplings, she specially made six servings, and the extra dumplings were planned to be fried the next day for the old couple. I didn't think that the future son-in-law of XXXL had all rounded up, not even a dumpling was left. Yang Xian had seen such a big stomach king, afraid that he would eat it, so he hurriedly fetched water and stomach digestion tablets for him. Meng Yufan was sitting at the table, and seeing her flying around like a bee, turning around him, he suddenly smirked, stretched his arms around her waist, and hummed, Sister Xiao Xiao, don't you, don't be nervous. I didn't eat too much, and I... I didn't drink too much either. The young boy raised his head, with tears in the corners of his eyes that were hot with white wine. He looked pitiful, cute and hateful. Yang Xiao was held in his arms, and he only felt that his arms, his chest and his whole body were so hot, even the heat that came out of his mouth when he spoke. Yang Xiao looked down at him and found that his body temperature had risen sharply, as if he had also been infected. Oh, is Xiao Meng drunk? Mother Yang asked with concern. As soon as she uttered, Yang Xiao immediately fell out of the inexplicable atmosphere. The girl's eyes fluttered and said, he does not drink well. As the instigator, Dad Yang was a little embarrassed, then what? Let's help him to rest on the sofa. The father and daughter worked together to lead the drunk to the living room. Meng Yufan was full of tight muscles. Fortunately, he was not drunk enough to lose consciousness, otherwise they would never be able to move him. As a result, on the sofa, an embarrassing scene happened the living room of Meng's family was small, and the sofa was the most basic to person sofa. Meng Yufan lay down, her long legs slumped directly on the ground with nowhere to rest. Mother Yang suggested, I see. Why don't you let him go to the Xiao Xiao room and sleep for a while? Yang Xiao. Please, it's the first time they met today, just let a strange man sleep in her bed? Can she deduct his money? But there is no way. In front of his parents, the two of them are boy and girl friends who are in a relationship, and Yang Xiao really can't give a reason for rejection. Reluctantly, Yang Xiao could only help Meng Yufan to walk to his room while breaking his thoughts in his heart. The result only a loud bang sound, the boy who was over height bumped his head on the bedroom door frame. Meng Yufan screamed aggrievedly, his dizzy brain is now even more muddy. Yang Xiao Mother Yang felt sorry for her son-in-law and screamed, Yang Xiao. Let you take good care of Xiao Meng, you you you. Knowing that he was wrong. Yang Xiao hurriedly dragged Meng Yufan into his bedroom, and then closed the door, isolating all his mother's nagging from the door. Yang Xiao's bedroom is not big, but it is neatly organized. Yang Xiao moved here since she was seven years old, and there is almost her entire childhood here. However, she began to live on campus after she was in college, and she shared with her girlfriends after work. Even she rarely came back in this room. However, Mother Yang would help her clean the room regularly, and the sheets and quilts had just been replaced, and there was still the smell of sunlight on them. Meng Yufan fell on the bed as soon as he entered the room. He is too tall, if he is lying upright, his big feet will hang out. Yang Xiao was very disgusted, and pushed him, he turned over in a daze, lying on a diagonal line anyway, his feet went in. His face was flushed because of drunkenness, but the reddest thing was in the middle of his forehead. It seems that the bump was too serious just now. Yang Xiao stared at the trace of the door frame on his forehead, and it was rare to feel a sense of guilt. Although this guy is big, he is actually a kid. She shook the little pink flower thinly, and gently covered him. Just how much you drink, do you still accompany you? She whispered. I think you should accompany the milk. Yang Xiao Gang put the quilt on the silly dog, and her cell phone rang suddenly. On the screen, Tang Shuj's avatar jumped and jumped. Sugar Sugar, why didn't you reply for so long? Sugar Sugar, nothing is wrong, right? Sugar Sugar, have you seen anyone? Your parents didn't doubt it, did they? 
Yang Xiao just remembered that she forgot to report the progress of the matter to her girlfriend. LOL, I saw it. LOL, everything is going well. LOL, but why did you find such a small one for me, it shocked me when I saw it. Sugar? Sugar candy, damn it, smile, you're progressing too fast, right? Sugar, how small is it? Is it younger than your ex-boyfriend? Yang Xiaogang didn't react at first, and it took several seconds before he realized that Comrade Tang Shuj was speaking a yellow voice again. LOL, I mean young. LOL, younger. Sugar sugar, ha 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 ha, just kidding. Sugar candy, I am a little cat, I am still young and I don't know anything. JPG LOL, I am three years younger than me, and I look quite young. LOL, my mother also suspected that I was here, and asked me have you always liked being older, almost revealing her stuff. Sugar candy, no way, you are in a hurry. I have been looking for it for a long time, and all the people of the right age have been rented out, leaving him alone. Yang Xiao thought, dare she to rent a tailed goods. Sugar sugar, by the way, how does he look like? Handsome or not? LOL, is there no photo on the app? Sugar sugar, yes, but the photos may also be cheated. Find a good photo retoucher, Beiji can also become Yanzu. LOL. Sugar sugar, but I think his height is 1.94 meters. I think it doesn't matter if it's ugly. Anyway, he is so high and far from the ground, you can't see clearly. LOL, friendship's boat will turn over when you say it's turned over. JPG LOL, bye bye Tang Shuj was curious, so he inquired about the two people meeting their parents for a long time. Yang Xiao was too lazy to type, so she opened the voice call and talked to her. When Yang Xiao talked about the boy sticking to her ear and saying, Drinking with my father-in-law, no money is charged, Tang Shuj suddenly heard a loud noise, boom, as if something had fallen on the ground. Yang Xiao said nervously, Tang Tang, what's the matter? It's all right, Tang Shuj said exaggeratedly, it's just that this little wolf dog pokes the old lady too cutely. Gan, made me fall off the bed. Yang Xiao said helplessly, do you want something to make, paper? It breaks with a single poke. She said again, you have a lower voice, he is by my side. Tang Shuj. Yang Xiao, he accompanies my dad to drink. He can't drink after a few drinks. He's going to bed. Tang Shuj, ah, are you sure he is asleep? Aren't you pretending to be asleep and secretly listening to our chat? Yang Xiao sat at the end of the bed, turning his head to look at the boy. Seeing Meng Yufan's eyes closed, the wine red on his face had not faded, and his chest was slowly rising and falling rhythmically. He didn't know when he changed from lying down to lying on his side. He was almost two meters tall, and he was still sleeping under the blanket like a child. The most disgusting thing is that he actually clutched a rabbit toy tightly in his big palms that was Yang Xiao's favorite plush toy when he was a child, and it was always on the head of the bed. She usually touched it, gently and softly. And this little put it in his arms and squeezed it under his chest muscles, and the little rabbit was suffocating. Yang Xiao couldn't stand by and immediately got up to grab his own little bunny. But this little was asleep, Yang Xiao pushed it for a long time, but couldn't the little rabbit back from the drunkard. Yang Xiao panted and sat at the end of the bed, also wanting to scold. Yang Xiao said to Tang Shuj, he did fall asleep, not only did he fall asleep, but he also started to snore. Then what are you waiting for? Tang Shuj said excitedly. Yang Xiao had a headache, what nonsense, he is still a student, in my eyes, this kind of kid who hasn't left school is a child. Student? Isn't that better? I called the police. Tang Shuj quickly vowed to God that he would stop joking. The two good girlfriends chatted for a while, until half an hour later, when Meng Yufan woke up in a daze, she hung up the phone. Meng Yufan fell asleep and rolled on the bed for a while, messing up Yang Xiao's sheets. 
but no matter how he rolled, the little rabbit was sandwiched between the two pectoral muscles by him, the rabbit's face was distorted, and he suffered unbearable torture at first glance. Yang Xiao said angrily, Wake up! When you wake up, get up quickly! Meng Yufan was dizzy, closed his eyes and mumbled, Coach, coach, let me sleep a little longer! Yang Xiao! Meng Yufan didn't know what he had dreamed of. He changed his voice and said grievously, Coach, I want to play basketball. Yang Xiao knows this line from the famous slam dunk. Although she hadn't read the cartoon in its entirety, she followed Tang Shuj over a few times. Yang Xiao wanted to laugh a little, and suddenly felt that he was not so hateful when he was lying in bed. When Meng Yufan woke up completely, the minute hand on the clock crossed two squares again. The boy sat on the edge of the bed blankly, his hair tousled, wandering away. Yang Xiao went to the kitchen to get him a bottle of iskala, put a stick on his face, and the cold aluminum can instantly awakened him. Laugh! Sister Xiao Xiao! Meng Yufan took the bottle of coke awkwardly. He has a large, slender can of coke in his hand, like a mini package. Yang Xiao himself took a bottle of coke, sat next to him, and asked, Have you never drunk alcohol before? Don't hold on when the amount of alcohol is not good. Did it? Meng Yufan whispered, But all I drink is beer. Is beer called wine? Yang Xiao said disdainfully, No more flavorful sparkling water. Meng Yufan looked at her in shock. Yang Xiao had a father who was not drunk when he was young, and naturally inherited his father's good drinking capacity. Especially in places like TV stations, socializing is indispensable. When she first entered Taiwan, some malicious people wanted to get her drunk, but she was all drunk and squatted under the wine table. Yang Xiao saw that the boy looked like he was hit hard, and he touched his head again, as if comforting a depressed big dog. The boy's hair is short, shaggy on the top of his head, very hard hair, a little bit tied. To be honest, Meng Yufan and her type of mate selection are completely north and south extremes. Yang Xiao likes mature men with things in their heads and basketball teenagers are obviously a race with well-developed limbs and simple minds. If they met on the road, Yang Xiao would never have looked at Meng Yufan. But by the way, the two people who are least likely to have an intersection have become loving couples on this day. Yang Xiao looked at his watch and found that it was past three o'clock. She said calmly, it's almost time. Hey! Meng Yufan asked blankly, what time? Yang Xiao said, Cinderella's magic time. Meng Yufan remembered, she rented him for four hours no, the magic is about to expire. Meng Yufan looked down at the can of coke in his palm, squeezing the can with his big hands. He didn't know what was wrong, he blurted out, actually, I can stay a little longer. It's not money. No need. Yang Xiao said, You have finished your work. Meng Yufan looked at her, wondering a bit, how could there be such an employer in this world? Obviously, his previous employers tried their best to squeeze his energy infinitely for four hours, and even after the time was over, they asked him to stay for a while for various reasons. But Yang Xiao is different from them. She can look at him with the softest eyes in front of her family, but when she is alone in private, she speaks to him in the most official tone. Meng Yufan yelled, I just slept for more than half an hour, I should make up for this time. No need to make up. Yang Xia refused, you got drunk after drinking with my dad. This is considered a work injury. Look, what a considerate employer she is. No matter which rental boyfriend meets her, he will like her. At 3.30, Yang Xiao sent Meng Yufan away on time. Mom and Dad Yang, who was watching TV in the living room, immediately stood up and saw him. The more Yang Ma looked at this tall son-in-law, the more pleasing she was, and her smile became more enthusiastic when she thought of the balcony glass that had not been cleaned at home. Xiao Meng, come here more when you have time. Aunts and uncles welcome you. Dad Yang also nodded. He and Meng Yufan drank a few glasses of wine at noon and drank feelings. 
they felt that the boy had nothing to do with each other. Although he was a little younger, he was very practical. Xiao Meng, come next time, uncle teaches you to play chess. Meng Yufan replied loudly, OK. But he knew clearly in his heart that he might not have a chance to see these two elders again. Yang Xiao's acting skills are much better than him. She took his arm and smiled and said, OK, don't let the two of you see each other. His coach just called him and asked him to go back for training. Now the whole team is waiting for him. If he is late, he will be penalized by the coach for a lap. Oh, training is a matter of business, that can't be delayed. Dad Yang asked curiously, by the way, Xiao Meng, what game are you playing? Is there a TV broadcast? Meng Yufan was embarrassed and scratched his head and said, I'm still a student now, and I can only watch the school level league games on the spot. It's okay to watch it live. Father Yang said with interest, don't think I am a little fat now. When I was young, I was also a great athlete in our factory. Next time you have a game, we will cheer you on. What? With that, Dad Yang took out his cell phone, Zhang Luo wanted to add a WeChat friend with Meng Yufan, and said that he could contact more in the future. This was an unexpected situation outside of the script. Meng Yufan hurriedly looked at Yang Xiao, staring at her with some bewilderment. What can Yang Xiaoneng do? In front of her parents, she can only say, look at what I do, I don't have a QR code on my face. If you ask you to add it, you can add it. Meng Yufan's expression cleared suddenly, and he happily added Father Yang and Mother Yang as friends. Father Yang's WeChat is called Feng Hirolai and Ms. Yang's WeChat is called Yun Dan Feng Ching. They are commonly used by the elderly, and they are familiar enough to appear in everyone's relatives list. Coincidentally, Meng Yufan's WeChat is called Rain and Sunny. Yang Xiao thought, the three of them look like an auspicious family. Look Yang Xiao and Meng Yufan haven't exchanged WeChat messages yet, but now, Meng Yufan has deeped into the enemy's rear and penetrated inside the enemy. When he arrived in the underground garage, Yang Xiao immediately let go of his hand and asked nervously, there is nothing in your circle of friends that shouldn't be there, right? For example, a photo of you showing affection with your girlfriend. Meng Yufan hurriedly shook his head, his face flushed red, Sister Xiao Xiao, I don't have a girlfriend. If he is not a single dog, he would not find such a part-time job. Yang Xiao didn't know whether he believed it or not, so he only told him, this is bothering you. You can pull them into a group and block them in any circle of friends. After a while, if they forget this, you can my parents deleted it. Meng Yufan only nodded and said nothing. He actually, doesn't want to delete it. He thought, anyway, he rarely posts to moments, even if he keeps two elders in his WeChat contacts. It's okay, right? Yang Xiao didn't know what Xiao Juju was playing in his heart. She was very tired now. She hadn't slept for two days and one night. These 24 hours were definitely the longest 24 hours in her life. The moment she stepped out of her parents' house, the tight string in her mind finally slackened, and an endless sense of exhaustion spread over her body, quickly occupying her body. She yawned and said sleepily, I won't send you back to school. I will find a subway station to drop you down later. How can I transfer the money to you? Meng Yufan awakened with an awe, and said quickly, There is an option of service and, pay now on the app, and then choose WeChat or Alipay to pay. Ro. The two got into the car. This time Yang Xiao was still driving. Meng Yufan was in a ball and sat in the passenger seat. Yang Xiao glanced at him and said, adjust the seat back, it makes me abusive to a child. Meng Yufan hurriedly retreated the seat to the end, and then barely put down his long legs. In all honesty, the boy's figure is really good. The legs are long and straight, even if the jeans are loose, they can't hide his advantages. Yang Xiao's little red Buick rushed out of the garage and sprinted all the way, quickly reaching the subway station closest to the community. 
Meng Yufan opened the door and got out of the car. A pair of long legs stepped out of the car, he did not leave directly, but recircled to the driver's seat, lowered his head, and looked at Yang Xiao. He is really tall, so tall that it obscures the sun. Yang Xiao looked up at him, at the sparse stubble on his chin, at the acne that had just subsided on his forehead, at his unmodified messy eyebrows. She didn't know if it was the first few times today that she thought this way he is still a child. It's just that he is a very handsome and handsome child. What's the matter? She asked softly. Sister Xiao Xiao. Meng Yufan was a little nervous. The phone was hot in his hand, and the page opened on the WeChat ad friend interface, but in any case, he couldn't say the phrase can I add your WeChat. In the end, the boy only uttered one sentence. Nice to meet you. Yang Xiao squinted his eyes, and said with a smile, Little brother, elder sister is also very happy to meet you. This time, she put out her hand from the car window, held his hand generously, and swung it up and down gently. However, before he was squeezed tightly, the girl's tenderness was taken away from his palm. Unlike Meng Yufan's cocooned palms, Yang Xiao's hands were slippery, soft and white, as if still carrying a sweet fragrance. Meng Yufan felt that his heart was bumping, and this feeling even made him happier than shooting a three-pointer. Then goodbye. Yang Xiao waved his hand freely. Bye. Meng Yufan replied blankly. The window of the car was raised, and the glass with grey-black sunscreen blocked the boy's view. He stood stupidly at the entrance of the crowded subway, watching the red car go away. He is too tall, standing there like a telephone pole, and every passerby who passes by him must cast a curious look at him. Meng Yufan didn't care about the sight of others, he felt like he was dreaming. He just took an ordinary order, an ordinary accompany his employer home, an ordinary meal with two elders. But why is his heartbeat so fast? Did he? We chat rang. Meng Yufan didn't care about it. Did he? We chat rang again. He still didn't look. Drop by drop. We chat keeps ringing. Meng Yufan. He reluctantly picked up the vibrating cell phone and looked down at Feng He Rely invites you to enter auspicious family. Meng Yufan. Auspicious family Feng He Ri Li, Papa Yang Xiao Meng, I will pull you into the group. Yun Dan Fen King, Mother Yang just now, your uncle reminded me that it was the first time you came to our house. As a parent, you should give you a red envelope. Yun Dan Feng Ching, Mother Yang auntie didn't think about it. It's not that our old couple have opinions about you, we are very satisfied with you. The wind and the sun, Papa Yang red envelope the wind and the sun, Papa Yang red envelope the wind and the sun, Papa Yang red envelope the wind and the sun, Papa Yang red envelope Feng He Ri Li, Papa Yang at, Xiao Meng, come to receive the red envelope. LOL. Sunny after rain, Meng Yu Fan. Meng Yufan and Yang Xiao never expected that just five minutes after they were separated, her parents would pull them into the same group. Yukiwa Shenqing, Meng Yufan well, uncles and aunts, you are too polite. Raining over the sky, Meng Yufan red envelopes are no longer needed. Feng Hiri Li, Papa Yang how can you not use it? You can take it if you give it to you. Yun Dan Feng Ching, Mother Yang from now on we will be a family. LOL. LOL modify the group name to weather forecast LOL, Dad, Mom, Meng Yufan. LOL, I wish you a happy family. LOL, bye 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 LOL exit weather forecast Meng Yufan. When Yang Xia returned home, the phone was switched to airplane mode, and she fell asleep in darkness. She slept for more than 10 hours at a time. When she opened her eyes the next morning, she saw her best friend Tang Shuj sitting in front of her bed with a large bag of potato chips in her arms, staring at her while eating. Tang Shuj is small, with a baby head, and looks like a small hamster collecting food. Yang Xiao threw the pillow on the bedside. Tang Shuj. Are you going to scare people to death? Why are you running into my house in the morning and looking at me? 
Tang Shuj was so excited that his eyes glowed, I'm waiting for you to tell me about seeing my parents yesterday. Yang Xia was full of question marks, is my memory amnesia, or you amnesia, didn't I tell you on the phone yesterday? I have to do it twice for watching TV series, and of course I have to do it twice for listening to gossip. Tang Shuj said plausibly. Look at it with a microscope. What can Yang Xiaoneng do? The best friend he recognizes must bite the bullet and share gossip. As a result, Yang Xiao poured out all the bits and pieces that he had spent with Meng Yufan, and retelled all the small details that he did not care about yesterday. Tang Shuj chuckled happily, gnawing potato chips with relish, as if he was watching a TV series. Finally, Yang Xiao finished the story, I changed the group name to Weather Forecast, and then I withdrew from the group. Ha 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 ha. Tang Shuj smiled and fell on the carpet, the potato chips in his arms were not hugged and spilled all over the floor. Smile, you really belong to you. Regardless of cleaning up the dregs on the carpet, she took out a palm-sized notebook and a ballpoint pen from her pocket, and slumped on the ground to remember. Yang Xiao looked at her hard work appearance, and asked helplessly, Great writer, is there any inspiration again? Yes, yes. Tang Shuj didn't lift his head, his pen moved quickly, you are really my muse of inspiration, this is so interesting, I must write it down. For my female general and kiss the story of cultivation of the prairie wolf king at new ideas. Tang Shuj became obsessed with novels and comics since high school, and when he was in college, he began to try serializing novels on the internet. She can't keep up with her mind. She is still only a third-rate writer, but as a hobby, she can earn tens of thousands of dollars a year. She has a good mentality, and sometimes the data in the novel is too bad, and she gets to the bottom of the earth, she tells herself, it's okay, I still have a decent job, and I don't need to support myself by writing novels. Sometimes when work is wronged, she tells herself, it's okay, it's a big deal, I won't be angry with this bird. I can feed myself by writing novels. What Yang Xiao likes most is her optimistic character, as if all thorns and bumps can be overcome. Yang Xiao said, Seriously, I'm curious, you have written so many love novels, don't you want to have a love relationship by yourself? No matter what, Tang Shuj replied, I'm in love right now. To fall in love with a dog man, it is better to fall in love with my idol. Does your idol know that you are in love with him? He doesn't need to know. Tang Shu Jakimbo, he announces so much every day, he is so busy at work, and love affairs, I just do it alone. To be honest, if Tang Shu decides to unilaterally hold a wedding with her idol after a while, Yang Xiao will not be surprised. Yang Xiao got up to wash, took out two slices of bread and a box of ice yogurt from the refrigerator and quickly ate them clean. Then she took a deep breath, sat straight at the table, took out her phone, and firmly turned off the airplane mode switch. The phone was silent for three seconds then it was immediately filled with frantic influx of news. Hundreds of messages popped up one by one, and before she could see them clearly, they were quickly swept away by new news. The lock screen of the Apple mobile phone is like a dam washed down by heavy rain, and it cannot stop the flow of crazy information. The phone dinged for several minutes, and the movement was so loud that it even woke up Tang Shuj, who was lying on the carpet writing notes. She ran out barefoot and asked in shock, Smile, what's wrong with your phone, did the hornet's nest get in? Yang Xiao shrugged, What else? It must be Yu Huibo who was released from the mental hospital. Tang Shuj, so fast. Yang laughed and said, I couldn't keep him for too long. After all, he was not mentally ill. I was lucky enough to be able to get the pit into the hospital yesterday. He stayed there for two days and had an examination. The doctor found that he was not sick. Can I just let him out? Yang Xiao sent him to a mental hospital, and called them to inform the leaders of the college, in order to disgust him. It's a pity that this move was not lethal and the was released after only being locked up for two days. However, 
gossip spreads quickly among college teachers, and he must be unable to hide the fact that he was admitted to the mental hospital. This kind of thing can't be cleaned up, and every teacher who sees him in the future will give him pointers, and he will be stuck in the rank of associate professor for life, and promotion is hopeless. Although Yang Xiao had dragged all of Yu Huibo's contact information into the blacklist as early as the first time, Yu Huibo was not a fool either, he could change the number and continue to harass. Yang Xiao glanced at her SMS box she had handled the missed call SMS notification service, so now her SMS box is densely packed with hundreds of SMS messages, each of which represents Yu Huibo called her once. In addition, there are text messages sent directly by Yu Huibo. Yang Xiao didn't even look at it, and dragged it directly into the trash can. Oh, why did you just delete it? Tang Shuj said regretfully with his notebook in his hand, I want to see what he said in his text messages. Is it confession of mistakes? Or anger into anger? My scumbag the mail material library is already hungry and thirsty. What does he say? What does it have to do with me? Yang Xiao said calmly, Do you step on on the road, and you have to look down and study what this dog ate in the morning. Tang Shuj gave an initiation, once again showing the expression of inspiration coming, the little book turned a page, and began to record Yang Xiao's quotations excitedly. Yang Xiao installed a phone blocking software and set it to only people in the phone book can contact me, so that all unknown calls are blocked. Then, she took another deep breath and clicked on the WeChat whose chat history showed 99 plus sure enough, her father pulled her back to the weather forecast group again. During the dozen or so hours that she was sleeping, Meng Yufan had been fighting her parents fiercely. Yang Xiao flipped through the chat log, and dizzy just after reading a few pages. Meng Yufan does have a lot of elders, and he is especially good at supporting him. I don't know where he came from so many middle-aged and elderly emoticons, no matter what Yang's father and mother said, he can pick it up. Feng Hiari Li, Papa Yang share an article history that 99% of Chinese people don't know, pay tribute to the hero. After the rain, the sky is clear, it's so touching. Although I am young, I have always been interested in this period of history. If I hadn't become a basketball player, I always wanted to be a soldier. After the rain, the weather has been fine, red flag salute. Jif Yang Xiao. Yun Dan Feng Ching, Mother Yang share the video don't throw away the endless dumpling wrappers. If you do this, the kids next door are crying. After the rain, the sky is clear, applause 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 Yukiwashin King, the dumplings made by Auntie are so delicious, there will be no endless dumpling skins. Yang Xiao Yang Xiao thought, this little wolf dog's business level is too high. Seeing the weather forecast group started a new round of flattering and being flattered, Yang Xiao only felt that his scalp was tingling and his teeth were sour. She quickly passed Meng Yufan's friend application. LOL, what happened during the 10 hours when I was away? LOL, did my parents find that you are their long-lost biological son? Yugiwashin King Sister Xiao Xiao, do you have a long-lost brother? LOL, no, I am an only child. LOL, smile sunny after rain. After the two became friends, Meng Yufan sent four red envelopes to Yang Xiao I. Yang Xiao asked him what he meant. Meng Yufan said that this was the meeting red envelope given to him by Yang's father and Yang's mother. Although he accepted it in front of them, he must return it to Yang Xiao because of reason. LOL, no, take it. LOL, just as your overtime pay. Originally, she had only hired Meng Yufan for four hours. From the moment they left his house, they should have nothing to do with the money. Unexpectedly, Yang's father and Yang's mother would add Meng Yufan's WeChat. Seeing the three of them chatting so enthusiastically in the group, Yang Xiao felt that it was like a balloon that was getting bigger and bigger, looking beautiful and festive, but I don't know when there will be a bang. Forget it. Let's take one step at a time. In the adult world, every second is a fight without gunpowder. 
Yang Xiao didn't have much time to indulge in the aftershocks caused by the broken up relationship. She packed all the memories of Yu Huibo and threw them into the trash can at the fastest speed. When the sun rises on Monday, she still wears a suit and skirt. With red lips, carrying a brand name bag in one hand and coffee in the other, he walked into the office quickly. Last year, Weiziong TV station made a wave of major reforms, changing from a project system to a responsible person system. Every person in charge must compete for employment. In the past, the structure of a program was tree-shaped, and what news was communicated from top to bottom, now it has become a firework type, which is uniformly mobilized by the person in charge. As a result, the burden on the person in charge becomes extraordinarily heavy. Yang Xiao's project is a talk show called Midnight Heart Road. It has been broadcast for four years, and the ratings have been tepid. The reason for the initial project was to fill the vacancy in the late night of the working day. This column is small in size, only 45 minutes in the first phase. Originally, the top of the TV station didn't pay much attention to this column. After the restructuring, there were only five people in the entire program from top to bottom. The result last month, a popular variety show next door was seconded out because of insufficient staff. Yang Xiao is going crazy. She is the director of the show, and she is the second in command of the five-person team. Now that one of them is gone, her workload has surged in an instant. She has been working overtime for a month. If it hadn't been for a period of their program during the mid-autumn festival, she would not even have a chance to breathe. Boss, I really can't hold it anymore. Yang Xiao put forward at the nth regular meeting. Let's hire people, hire a new person, I'll take care of it, can't you? But there is no pit in the station right now. The person in charge of the show is a middle-aged man in his forties. His surname is Wu. He has a white heart and fat body. The same, I also want to recruit, but our small program has no funding and no production, so I can't recruit people. The intern is always okay, right? Yang Xiao said immediately, find an intern who is a senior, a second-year-old and a third-year program. How transparent our program is. It has been four years since the broadcast, and the station leaders will not even have an internship. Don't give it to us. Interns, also known as cheap labor, earn only 30 yuan a day and include a lunch. The work intensity is about the same as that of regular employees and they even have to do a lot of chores that regular employees can't do. But even so, as long as the golden sign of Weiziong TV station is there, there is no need to worry about finding a little coolie. Back then, Yang Xiao walked from the intern step by step in this way. The sufferings, the grievances and the tears I shed at that time are nothing at all in retrospect. Angkor thought for a while, circled the wooden beads in his hand, and finally said, Okay, let's see if Angkor can help you tear one from the director. With Angkor's help, after a while, the station sent them an intern. The interns walked in through the golden autumn leaves. As soon as autumn begins, the temperature in Weiziong drops rapidly. Yang Xiao took off his suit and skirt, and put on an autumn dress. Today, she wore a grey striped suit and trousers. The design was fashionable. The trousers were slightly flared and matched with the high heels under her feet. The aura was 1.8 meters. The latest taro silk scarf of the season is wrapped into a small flower on the girl's slender neck. As she walks, the ribbon of the silk scarf flies with the wind. Are you a new intern? She walked up hurriedly, and at a glance she saw the young girl standing outside the office door with a cramped face. The little girl is not very old. 1.5 meters and 55, thin and small, with a high ball head, wearing a loose sweater, carrying a backpack, and green writing all over her body. You, hello. The little girl bowed at 90 degrees and said in fear, I am a new intern, Lu Yuiyu. My classmates call me Yuiyu, and you can also call me Yuiyu. Okay. Yang laughed, then I'll call you Xiao Lu. Lu Yuiyu. Yang Xiao handed her the information in her hand, Xiao Lu, 
she specifically emphasized the title, You are the first day today, I won't arrange too much work for you. This is the information of our program, you today his only task is to sit here and quickly go over all the shows this year. All the shows this year. Lu Yuyu exclaimed, isn't there more than 30 issues? To be precise, it is 40 issues. Yang Xiao said, in order to prevent accidents, each program will be recorded two issues in advance as a backup reserve. We will enter the studio tomorrow morning and record 200 issues of special programs. There will be many old guests here, you have to be prepared. She acted vigorously and quickly arranged the task. This workload does not seem to her to be large, but for a new intern, there is no buffer at all, so she piles up so many programs on her desk, and she will be scared to cry in the first minute of work. N.S. Seeing a small flower being devastated and wilting, Yang Xia realized that she was a bit too harsh. When eating at noon, she specifically asked Lu Yuyu to go to the cafeteria. But Lu Yuyu was trembling, like a mouse meeting a cat, she didn't dare to look up when eating. In the afternoon, the people from the program group organized a group to order milk tea. Yang Xiao asked Lu Yuyu if she wanted it. Lu Yuyu said, Sister Yang 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 Yang, I don't want. I, 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 and I lose weight. Yang Xiao. She was really helpless, she obviously hired an assistant for herself, but accidentally scared her assistant. Although this little girl is a little timid, she is indeed very capable of working. The computer of the TV station is not called a computer, but a workstation. The post-production software on it is dedicated. Normal schools have no conditions to use it. Many schools only teach students to use PR to make videos. Yang Xiao originally thought that she was going to be a nanny for a while and taught Lu Yuyu how to operate the new software, but she didn't expect to bother herself at all. Lu Yuyu was very skilled in the operation. Yang Xiao asked her, that's right, have you had an internship experience in a TV station before? Sister Yang, I never did an internship in a TV station. Lu Yuyu replied, but during my summer vacation, I worked in an outsourcing company for three months. The outsourcing company in her mouth, Yang Xiao also knows, it is a well-known variety show outsourcing company that has cooperated with several TV stations. Yang Xiao asked curiously, then why don't you continue working there? As far as I know, it is easy for the company to stay. Lu Yuyi was silent for a while, and then whispered, that company bullied me as a student and suppressed my three-month internship salary. Ah? Is there anything else? Yang laughed and said immediately, are you coming back now? I've dealt with that company before, and I can talk about it. If I don't want to come back, I will help you. Want. Lu Yuyu did not expect that Yang Xiao would take the initiative to help her. She was surprised and delighted, and said hurriedly, Yes, I am coming back. I hired a 1.9 meter high muscular man on the internet. My colleagues and I said he was me. Boyfriend, who is practicing boxing, asked him to pick me up and down for a week, and the boss paid me my salary. Yang Xiao was silent. Lu Yuyu, what's wrong with Sister Yang? Yang Xiao, I seem to have heard your story somewhere. Is there such a coincidence in this world? After working overtime in the evening and returning home, Yang Xiao lay on the bed and clicked on Lu Yuyu's WeChat moments. She is usually busy at work and has no time to post in moments, nor does she have time to read moments posted by others. Now I take a leisurely look and find that there are quite a lot of interesting things inside. Lu Yuyu is still a little girl, still at the age of all thoughts must be posted on social networks. Did not squeeze onto the subway in the morning, sent one. Be late in the morning, post one. Eat a bun in the cafeteria at noon and send one. After drinking too much milk tea in the afternoon, send one. The latest one stays just now. Lu Yuyu took a picture of Zhang Moon. Under the moon is her V hand, with the text, Comrade Lu is working overtime for the eighth day this month, come on. Yang Xiao. 
Yang Xiao gave a thumbs up, thinking that there is progress. It seems that she has accepted that she is Xiao Lu instead of Yu Yu. Yang Xiao continued to flip forward and found her fingers cramped, and finally found a circle of friends before the mid-autumn festival. At that time, Lu Yu Yu still called herself Yu Yu, sending photos every day for a week. She looked backwards from the back to the front according to the chronological order. On the seventh day, Lu Yu Yu posted a tall figure of a man, with the accompanying text, Someone is really tall, I walked side by side on the road with him, just like he was carrying a hot water bottle. On the sixth day, Lu Yu Yu posted a photo of a man holding a mineral water bottle with the caption, Someone's hands are so big, holding a mineral water bottle is like holding an oral liquid. Fifth day. Fourth day. Third day. Second day. As Lu Yu Yu said, she gave full play to her subjective initiative and showed the fake boyfriend in her circle of friends from all angles and angles. She also emphasized his tall, strong, big fist, and the average thin otaku. He can beat eight. Individual. I don't know if it was intentional or unintentional. In every photo she sent, she didn't take a face, but it was precisely because of this that it aroused people's imagination. Yang Xiao subconsciously looked for clues in those photos, and compared the man in the photos with the young man in his memory. They have the same height, the same physique, the same hairstyle, and the palms are about the same size. The photos were flipped and flipped, and finally reached the bottom. The time was one week before the mid-autumn festival. Lu Yuyu posted the first small video about her boyfriend since she was asking for her salary outside the company's gate, the sun velvet sprinkled on the flower beds on the roadside. The young man who was waiting there got up and strode towards her, with eyebrows bent. Running with him was a golden retriever, with a checkered denim scarf around the dog's neck, a cowboy hat, and a rose in his mouth. Dogs and youth, flowers and sunshine, ice milk tea in his hands and smiles at the corners of his mouth. I don't know how many young girls' dreams are formed. Are you off work? The actor in the video lowered his head and said to the camera, the person behind, I bought a movie ticket, let's go on a date. The 15-second short video came to an abrupt end here, Yang Xiao flipped his wrist and directly buckled the phone upside down on the bed. She can finally be sure now her boyfriend has hit the money. At breakfast the next day, Yang Xiao told Tang Shuj about the incident. Tang Shuj, who was originally drowsy, woke up in an instant, and was surprised, the world is so small? The boyfriend you rented is the same as the boyfriend rented by your company's interns. Yes. Yang Xiao handed the phone over helplessly, look, this is a video. Tang Shuj hurriedly picked up the phone, and enjoyed his breakfast while eating. The 15-second short video was played very quickly, Tang Shuj Tut, isn't this the great sage? Great sage. Yang Xiao asked. It's this golden retriever dog. Tang Shuj tapped the screen of his mobile phone. In order to meet the expectations of employers, in addition to renting out boyfriends, our company also has a variety of scene packages that can be superimposed. This golden retriever called Dashin is us. The gold medal pet with the highest order rate in the company has an appearance fee of 200 yuan per appearance and hats and scarves are extra. There are 28 roses in its mouth. As Tang Shuj said, he watched the short video again, oh, there are also milk tea running errands, 31 times. Yang Xiao vomited, what kind of money-making genius is your company leader? When your boyfriend buys a cup of milk tea for his girlfriend, he has to charge a purchase fee. Everyone wants to eat properly. Tang Shuj said. Yang Xia reluctantly took the phone back and asked, to tell the truth, how many part-time boyfriends does your company have? Why is the chance of bumping into money so high? Tang Shuj's tongue licked, this shows that you have a relationship with this little boyfriend what's the fate? Yang Xia shook his head, if I hadn't seen him in the circle of friends of my colleagues this time, I wouldn't remember him at all. Meng Yufan is quite clever. He told her parents that he is going to prepare for the game recently and training in a closed session, 
so he can't even touch his mobile phone. Yang's father and Yang's mother believed it was true, so she stopped disturbing him in the group. But the biggest problem now is Yang Xiao can see Meng Yufan in the circle of friends of new colleagues, then will her parents see Meng Yufan somewhere else? For example, when Meng Yufan was dating other employers, was she seen by the grocery shopping mother Yang? Or, Meng Yufan's words of love to other employers were heard by the walking father Yang? The world is so small and Meng Yufan is so big. If he is hit by his parents, there is really no way to explain it. Just as Yang Xiao was worried, her cell phone rang again. Weather forecast WeChat group, Feng Hiri Li, Papa Yang I went to the farmer's market this morning and the hairy crabs are on the market. They are not expensive and they are quite fat. Yun Dan Feng Ching, Mother Yang at, Xiao Meng, have you been training hard recently? Come to auntie's house to eat crabs. Yang Xiao. How come Cao Cao was cute when he thought of Cao Cao? Yang Xiao left a message in the group, LOL, Dad, Mom, I have been busy with work recently, and I can't go back. Feng Hiri Li, Papa Yang you can't come back if you don't come back, just come, Xiao Meng, and you can drink two cups with me. Yang Xiao. No, she has to think of a reason as soon as possible and tell her parents earlier that she and Meng Yufan have broken up.